Yeah. So, you say you have played before. Have. You've never played before. Never played, never played at all. No, no idea what you're doing then. No. No, it's fine. All right. So first of all, uh, mostly for the benefit of you, most people have heard this before. Uh, up until very recently, the majority of you were occupying the town of Mist House, a colony at the southernmost tip of this peninsula. It was uh, recently settled by a uh, group of elves from the land of Nadar, were then quickly taken over by other races, humans and so on, much to the chagrin of the elves' leader, King Mylock. Nonetheless, the uh, human and dwarven contingent made fast work at spreading and mostly occupying the town. The elves split off and have their own quarter of the town. <clears throat> Life had continued this way for some time, while various groups went about exploring the wilderness, trying to settle it for farming, expand the influence of the town so more of this untamed wild land could be used for um, civilised purpose. Unfortunately, very recently the town was attacked uh, quite viciously by a um, supremely powerful force. Um, <clears throat> a Helvetian army were defending the town, uh, influenced by Romans. Uh, they built a garrison outside the town, built a second wall. There was two defensive walls out to the north of the town, but um, the enemy attacked from the sea, attacking the harbour, which was virtually undefended. They managed to land forces in there, but the real swinging point of it was that the enemy seemed to be in control of a dragon. That made quick work of all the Helvetian forces. Their shield wall was nothing next to the dragon fire. Um, many people in the town were killed, many of us fled into the wilderness, some still remain inside the town, living under the rulership of the new leaders, maybe killed, no one knows. The uh, new occupants of the town have made it clear that if anybody comes into the town, they will kill 50 civilians, mount them on spikes on the outside of the wall. Most of the refugees from the town fled north. <clears throat> there was a pinnacle of rock with a tower on the top. Uh, used to be a uh, defensive fortress for Darius, god of war. Long since abandoned, but rediscovered, searched uh, and reclaimed. Uh, the pinnacle of rock that it sits on is hollow. Has a large a water source underneath it, large area, and stairs going up the inside which lead to the tower itself. The owner of the tower Corim, High Priest of Darius, made this uh, area available for the refugees and the remaining Helvetians. Everybody has fled here. Everybody knows you can't get to the town, which is the only dock that leads off the island. There are bits of coastland, but no one has a ship. Some people have been off recently trying to find allies, and they brought back a, a cluster of 50 lizard men who do not speak a word of common. They've been causing some problems, but do seem to be with the intent of helping. Food supplies are scarce. You don't have access to the farms. You don't have access to regular supplies. The Helvetian forces have taken control of what food there is and are rationing it out in the morning. Many of the people here are afraid, in a state of discontent, don't know what to do next, don't know what their future holds. Some people have talked about trying to find a ship, some people have talked about fleeing to the north, but others say that the enemy has more forces to the north as well and we can't possibly go there. What is the enemy? What, we know what race they are. <clears throat> so the forces that landed in the town were, there were a number of hobgoblins amongst them. They have wyverns, but they are under the control of someone called Morthel. Um, what his motivations are, are unknown to most of you at this time. Um, there is talk that, in particular, he was capturing magic users, priests, anyone who could cast spells. Yeah. Um, that is common knowledge at this stage. I mean, it's, um, there's been rumour of it. <clears throat> So, uh, a notice board appeared, well, a notice pole appeared in the centre of the encampment. The encampment is very, very rough inside this cave, just tents and makeshift shelters. Um, this notice pole went up with a bunch of uh, jobs available on it. Um, and this group, 
decided to take up a couple of those until recently, but on this occasion, we're uh, looking at following up a previous notice board. So I'm going to bring us in. Uh, <coughs> we're outside a small tent which has set up a uh, table and is serving uh, hot drinks. There are a few tables and chairs here as well. Um, and it's at this location with just non-alcoholic drinks available to you. Oh, you <laughs> bastard! <laughs> <laughs> that uh, you're assembling for this morning's conversation before heading out. Jack, you awake? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> That's probably the best we're going to get out of him. He's got his job. I'll make some more coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this time. Is not doing that the other thing is just sat at the table, just tinkering away, just building, and playing around with something, just little pop work toys and everything, just in his own little world, not paying attention to anybody else around there. Just little robots just walking. Little toy on the table. Sat inside of the tent, <laughs> in the book, but eyes occasionally poking just over the top, just very aware of what's happening, but sat quietly, not saying a word. Uh, walk out. Oh. Hello, my friends. What a brilliant day today. Ah, sit down at the table and talk to you about that. Uh, you see a um, uh, gentleman, uh, sort of dark brown skin, light blue eyes. He's got a very kind of Arabic style uh, sort of clothing, sort of head scarf over his face. My heart is gathered, so let's go down. Um, He's got an orange cape over the right side of him. And the one thing you do notice about him is that he's got a big pop up ring on the side of his arm on his right hand, which is like a, a gold signet ring with like a, um, a dark brown gem. And it's got surrounded by like crisp, like um, different jewels, different gems around the ring. Encrusted all over. Ah. Great day. What is the breakfast? <coughs> One way to make entrance. Mm. I appreciate that. Well, uh, we've got a few options for breakfast, uh, uh, sir. <laughs> if you've got um, something to trade for it, of course. Something to trade. Hmm. I think you'll. Uh, I am the finest jeweler in all of Kazar. Well, I'm hoping to make my name for myself in this strange land. Well, that's lovely and everything, but we've got bacon, we've got bread, mm. we've got goat milk. It's at this point, Scott puts his book down. Well, at the mention of uh, food, I do have some some knowledge and wisdom, some riddles maybe that you'd like to trade instead for for some food. Knowledge and wisdom. Uh, I'm going to put clothes on my kids though is it? Nobody can teach them many things. What? what? Alright, okay, well let's, let's, let's suppose I'm interested. What, what kind of thing? What kind of thing? Give me a taster. Well it depends. What sort of food are you offering? It depends on, on how much knowledge or, or, or whatever yeah, I might... Well, I'd say you can have some bacon, you can have some bread. Got goat's milk, the cheese isn't ready yet so I wouldn't advise trying that. It's oh, not. Cheese is never bloody ready. Well, I mean, it wouldn't. It wouldn't just slice so much as splurge. Mm. 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 It's not proper dwar dwarven cheese. Well, I mean, uh, we've, we've got as far as getting the shape of a cheese, but if you slice it, it it's it's not a solid core. You need to be able to hit it with an hammer. That's good cheese. That is. Well, technically, any cheese is hittable with hammer. I suppose I could hit this one with a hammer, couldn't I? It would probably get messy, though. Look, the cheese isn't ready yet. I'm, I'm not ruining it. It's hard enough to get hold of the goats to squeeze the stuff out. Sure isn't. Oh, I'm sure it's a goat. <laughs> I thought you only had rams. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thought he was keen to be milked. Anyway, a sample of your wisdom. 
does know better. <laughs> what, 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 so, let's suppose I was to put a bit of bacon on a bit of bread. The bread's not as fresh as it could be, but it's the best we can do. Uh, great. I, I have great. I'm very good at medicine. I can, if you have any ailments, I'm sure I can do something. I do also have an, am, an amulet that's, that's quite precious to me, but I suppose I am I'm rather hungry and I would like something. Ooh, let's have a look at this amulet. I don't, I don't know what I put. It's okay. I will make you the greatest jewelry. In due time, when I get some components. Well, that is a very nice looking ring. Make your ring just like how about that ring? No, not this ring. This ring is very special. I mean, for that ring, you could eat all week. Very special. I cannot sell this, I'm afraid. But I can make you one just like it. I am the greatest jewelry maker in all this. Well, I mean, I mean it, sounds, it sounds a bit future, doesn't it? I mean, if you brought me a ring just like it, but you're, you're, you're sort of offering me a ring that doesn't exist. Sir, sir, do you have children? I do have children. I am just thinking as you have children. You see these clockwork toys? I'm sure your children would love a little clockwork toy. How about that? What is a clockwork? It's if you wind them up at the back and he pulls this off and I pick a little toy, wind them up at the back and he just the little thing is falls over, picks them back up, wanders off a little bit. Ah, oh, oh, you're, you're a wizard. Kind of. Yeah, it's, it's gotta be magic, hasn't it? It's, it's supreme magic. Best magic. Does it does it wear off? No, 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 it did. No, 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 you just keep winding it like you'll be fine, you'll be fine. Your children would love it. Oh, I, I can certainly give you some bacon for one of those. How about a bit of bacon for everybody? I, I appreciate all of this. You're very generous, all three of you. How about we just have this be something a bit more tangible? Uh, and a gold coin flies towards them for the whole table. <gasps> Bacon for everyone and for, for gold. He's not. As a explodes. Well then, gold coin there. Give me a good gold coin there. You were going to give that to one of my children? No, 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 no. That was not that one. I had a better one for you. Would I try and do that? You really need to see the Insights. No, I don't think you would. <laughs> no. No, you have to be I'm some honest. sort of a... I'm an honest toy maker. All right, all right. Well, I, I, some bacon and bread for everybody. Goes and comes back a few minutes later with some black bread. It's very hard. It's crust all the way to the centre. And some um, well-cooked, not, not in its warmest state, bacon. There you go. Slap the table down for everybody. It looks like good bread, that does. All crust. I'm just saying we like it. I'm going to take a bite of it as it Can you make an athletic check? I'm going to take a constitution check. Can you make an athletic check? Can you make an athletic check? 12? Very good. Oh, I found that I found the best is just let the, let the bacon grease soak into it a bit, softens it up. Yeah, you can see. You may need some water with it. That's <laughs> it. It's, it's a human type. It's, it's very hard. Uh, but we are apologies. We know how to introduce ourselves. Uh, Dagger Balinski. As you see, a, a very dark green dragonborn who. After seeing that, just very easily eats the bacon sandwich. Cool. Explosion. Pleasure to meet you. I am Khalil. My, my name's my name's well. People call me people call me Skettle. Uh, thank, you, thank you. Thank you. For you should call me Skettle. It's it's no problem. It, I've learned in many days of play that people they deserve to be taken care of. Anything? Well, most. Uh, anyway, we have we have Jack, we have Tinkler friend over here. Gunther, how are you? You see a, a very small gnome who's kind of sat on a cushion. And lots of things. He's kind of wearing a big jacket. The jacket looks very kind of like he's got tools all inside. There's an alarm with little tools and things that are on there. Little monocle type thing. What sort of wizard are you? Are you very strange? Very powerful wizard. Ah. Be very careful. 
He is, he is not with it. I have fled like him, actually. <laughs> Very good with uh, tools. Ah, uh, uh, I know it. <laughs> and, of course, ever pleasant, Miss Stonewall. She is love. She's a beautiful servant for her husband. This love story. At the mention would... of the seventh husband, Scuttle grabs his, uh, <laughs> grabs his excuse for a bacon roll and scuttles his way back round to, uh, to, to near the back towards now of the tent. And as he runs off, um, he doesn't have much dress wise, he's just simple leather garb, a bit of a cloak. But what he does have around his belt is uh, clips on of books of many books, a lot of them worse for wear at this point and barely legible to anyone, but he's read them so many times it wouldn't matter and it's more of a, a comfort thing and he scurries back around to the I'm going to go. Mrs. Stormwall, I just like to put my hand out like that. All right, thanks my love. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> well, I've been Fancied by many a man, let me tell you. <laughs> and she were. <laughs> but, uh, well, that's why I keep this heavy armour on. Strong with a weapon. Just a little bit, love, just a little bit. And yourself? I am one with the arcane arts, you could say. Excellent. Well, perhaps when you finished your breakfast, we might talk about a small job we need to do. And you, my friend, you seem very Jack's fast asleep, just like. He's a little bit. all coming out, just like spitting out all stuck in his bit of a matted beard, and if he's got a going on. He's just like. Going 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 going. Going. <laughs> I see. Uh, the remains of Mr. Tats have uh, not really uh, acquired any rules, except for myself. I see. I not come across any blue myself. Well, in uh, about nine days you will. I will keep an eye out for you. Please don't keep it. Well, it's a little bit of a. He's in the He's kind of just in the air, but he's just this like black priest. I've always absolutely completely God knows what, but he's actually also now got this jumper on, which he <laughs> acquired from his <laughs> stuff. Festive jumper. It's a festive jumper with a symbol of God. <laughs> yes. Well, he's actually got it inside out and back to front as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's just an absolute snake a creature. But, yeah. I'd forgotten about the festive <laughs> guard. <jumper. laughs> Don't eat the tea cozy hat for that. Oh, yeah. Alright. Oh, I don't know. I keep forgetting about the tea cozy. I leave you to uh, deal with him. I must go and sort something out before we leave. I don't think the bacon sandwich agreed with your friend. <laughs> just on, on the way I walk the tent, just give him a nice tap on the shoulder. <laughs> These bacon sandwiches are lovely. No, that's the cuisine. What's coming out? <laughs> Mrs. Stonewall's face is glistening <laughs> with thick bacon fat. <laughs> He's got a little saw that's coming out. And he's trying to hack. <laughs> he's going to just bludgeoning the saw. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just eat it and then mending all the table. No, I've got it. So, where are we off to today? We have a small problem. Uh, there is a creature that um, may be working for the enemy. Ah, uh, yes, he's in. This one more there. Whatever the bugger's name is, he knows my name. And that means we're all in trouble. Oh, great. Why am I in trouble? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we went west to the farmlands and encountered a rather vicious family of vampires. Vampires? Hmm. Mention of vampires. 
well, creased background. There's a little bit of bacon grease dripping off from his axe, which leads you to believe how he managed to chop oh, yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, licking his lips as he comes back around. I've, I've read about about vampires. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'd like to see one in the flesh, but... Well, things need to get done. Hopefully you won't. We burned down their house, and we made off with their sheep. <laughs> <laughs> but that ain't... that ain't the worst of it. You sound like thieves. No, no, no. Uh, Liberators. Liberation, that's what it Liberators. was. Thank you, Gunther. I guess they are about <laughs> There was a creature, it was half baboon and half goblin and half... Monster and half horrible has been number two. <laughs> Thieves or liberators. <laughs> History tends to be written by those that win. <laughs> so yeah. they always come off positive. Sounds interesting. Dagger, you've probably got the best memory of that. Oh, I fucked off like five minutes ago. Let me walk on to so I'm, I'm, I'm like six foot five. How do you not see me? <laughs> <laughs> Good job he's, he's not here really to punish me about it. The tallest and making sandwich most the colourful party member <laughs> leaves, and you didn't notice. Well, Mr. Well, Stonewall turned to the uh, snakeskin chair for a moment, mistaking it for dagger. <laughs> 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 From down here, all you buggers look the same anyway. <laughs> it's like racist. <laughs> yeah, I got oh, yeah, You're smaller than me, even though you're a cushion. There's no <laughs> racism in D&D. <laughs> so, cut a long story short, we need to go and find him. Right. So, any of you chaps any good at tracking? Walk up. Uh... A little bit. Excellent. He is now the tracker. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> right, we'll get the camo wagon all hitched up again and we'll. The ghillie wagon. The ghillie wagon. So the sled back as well. Yes. Right, well, we may not want to take the sledge. We don't need the sledge? Well, I think. Well, I don't know. We better bring this match. Just, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> I think I mentioned a small down payment for anyone who was coming along. No. No, I didn't. That's right. No, no, you didn't. No, good. No, not to me. <laughs> the new people, maybe. If you make it back, there'll be uh, a small financial reward. Sounds good to me. But we've got to get this bugger who knows my name. Okay. This yeah. this creature. And make him forget my name. Hmm. This creature. I think death is for the best way. Certainly one way to solve things. Uh, I think we might need some alcohol for this one. He was pretty useless last time. Hmm. Which is at the mention of alcohol. It's like, <laughs> Drink! <laughs> Shh, you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they've heard of bacon beer in this part of the countryside. I've heard of this bacon beer. Mm. We came from a long way. Perhaps that's where they dipped to bacon before we had it in our sandwich. Anyway, gather your things, ladies and gentlemen. I was going to go on uh, staff, I'm like, I'm ready to go on that now. So where was Dagger off to? I'm going to our merchant friend. Ah, <laughs> so opposite the uh, Helvetian uh, palisade there, which did with all the rations and supplies behind, that tent is still equipped, uh, green fabric, and like just uh, arch tent, and he's got his couple of makeshift tables with an array of bric-a-brac and junk on it. The bootlegger. <laughs> Single boot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, my friend, you are still here. Yeah. Where else would I be? <laughs> I thought you might be getting breakfast. Uh, well, do you want breakfast? I, I've already eaten. I'm here. Uh, to hopefully acquire something from you. Well, you've come to the right place because things is what I've got. Uh, I have 
how I put this? I have a young daughter. She, uh... Oh, uh, I'm... I, I, I don't trade in that sort. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's not like that. I, I well, I'm not... I, I don't, I don't keep your voice down now, but what are we talking about? <laughs> I wish to get her pleasant. Oh! Oh, that's what I thought you meant. <laughs> Inside <laughs> Jack. <Jeremy. laughs> Possibly the shadiest cow to you with that, Jeremy. Uh, that's a 12. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think he was joking? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, <clears throat> she likes. She used to have stuffed animal, like little blush. And it was lost in fire. Uh, however, I uh, wondered if you had anything like that. What, what, what kind of animal was it? It was little bear. Right. Let me see what I've got. Right. I've got a cushion. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> He's drawn a couple of eyes on it. <laughs> it's nothing else that would. It's 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 supposed to be a, like a, a a plush of a uh, like a, a, a choker, but it, the tentacles will come off. <laughs> it is nice gesture, but uh, I'd look for something more she can play with. I. <laughs> it's a mimic. <laughs> <laughs> I would see what I'm Don't give him ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I was just imagining that this pillow with googly eyes on it. Start <laughs> <laughs> <Like> some hopping. He's <laughs> <laughs> got a sock on his hand. With <laughs> 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 <The> googly eyes. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> 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 I, I appreciate Jester, but... Oh, that's okay. You <laughs> <laughs> can't tell me she wouldn't love this. Oh. I mean, I'll wash it, obviously. <laughs> I appreciate Jester, but it's not quite what I'm looking for. I, I knew it was long shots coming here, but it's, it was worth luck. Do they want me? <laughs> oh. Oh, no, no, it's okay. I mean, it's okay. I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't know quality. Oh, no, that's just terrible. I, I do have to go. I wanted to pop in before I left, but uh, thank you. But thank you. Only two copper. That's her more <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'm just. I'll go to the. I'm gonna pick that sock. <laughs> <laughs> what we're calling it? Gilly. Gilly wagon. Gilly wagon. Gilly wagon. I'll go to. I'll wait. Wait. Leave the table. Wagon. The guy who's served the wonderful meal of uh, baby salad. Mm-hmm. That's a fabulous meal. There. Fabulous meal. Any leftovers? No, it's all gone. They're just. <laughs> it's all gone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I don't think we had to be that in this surprise. Well, I was just playing along. Uh, anyway. <laughs> well, we'll have to drag Jack on the sled then if he ain't going to stumble there himself. I'm thinking about if we find something. Is there any way we can give him like a, a boost or something? Get, get him going like a little tower or something? I don't know. Have you seen him when he's angry? No, I haven't. He just slept last time. All right, well. <laughs> You're right. In fact, he does sleep a lot. I don't think I've seen him with anything. But, um, You've seen him piss and puke and you have seen him fighting, so... Yeah, he, he can give... He can punch hard. Hmm. 
I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of it. The next time I'll just say that the enemy have alcohol. Hmm. Does the alcohol give him power? I think it might. It's currently in theory. And this boy's scuttle. As all this chat's going on, creeps over to where Jack's lying down and uh, and says quite loudly near him, uh, but, oh, I've just read here in the book that this creature might be guarding some alcohol. And I think maybe we could, uh, we could maybe get it, get it from him and, and, well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> as... as as you're starting to, to grunt, quickly snaps the book back just in case you. you, 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 you He's got one saw, glassy eye and saw. the other eye is like really, really concentrated on you. Now. It didn't say what alcohol, but surely we could uh, we could go and have a look. Hmm. I'm just uh, going to grumble. On that note, uh, <laughs> I try and sleep. He likes. <laughs> to the kitty wagon. Well, gentlemen, in the short time I've known you, you've shown uh, incredible bravery. <laughs> Let's go to the gillywag. Stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back to <laughs> <coughs> All right. So um, you leave the eating area just as three lizard folk pass you in the opposite direction and head up to the counter. <laughs> I do not want to be around for outcome of that. But let's eat. You walk away. I want to see if we try to bacon sandwich. <laughs> Always good for I don't. <laughs> I don't think you're interested in bacon more humour. It's probably not best to watch. Oh. Agreed. You eat humans? Not mine. It's it's very hard to explain. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's, 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 it's different colour, you know. I am near to black, very dark green, they are very light green. That's it, there are dragon born who are black. It's very confusing. I don't know much about dragons, I think, so. Neither do I. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Okay. So, getting to the gilly wagon. Um, so, just for people that aren't the gilly wagon is just a wagon. Oh, yes. That's just covered in foliage. Because there's nothing fancy. <laughs> no, no, no. There's nothing fancy is about it, the party it, whatsoever. Is it neatly covered in foliage or sort of blotchy and just thrown. It's haphazardly at best. I'm in the I, process of making it for the table. I, I think it's, it's almost like the first half is like actually nicely done. And then as we rise, oh shit, that dragon's not closer. It was just haze. <laughs> yeah. So uh, a flat wagon and they've got uh, branches which they've arched across and then woven in lots of leaves and they have a horse as well which has a uh, a ghillie blanket immediately uh, <laughs> rush onto the back just slightly ahead of maybe jack and jump jump onto the back of the wagon just lift some of the stuff back like it's good to go i'm gonna jump up front he's not I'm going to shout, shotgun! Shotgun. How many people can get in the front? <laughs> Two people can get on the front. No. I've already called shotgun. The, the, it's a shotgun. <laughs> What's a shotgun? Possibility of finding alcohol. I was quite keen to get to the front, actually. But How many men did he get? He's going to crawl in the back and just use a sled and put her on and just go to sleep in it. I'll, I'll sit next to, I'll sit next to Jack. Oh. Does he, does he, do you smell? Yes. Yeah, he, he does not bathe, he's just, there's just crap comes out of his mouth all the time and he's going to cuddle up to you. You you are going to be hooked yeah. there whilst he sleeps. I'm just, just going to go, oh. you know, very quickly realise why Gunfish out his shotgun so quickly. He's <laughs> to the front. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do, Press the, digit- press the digitation, I can't even say it. Um, <laughs> no, you no. can uh, clean, you can instantly clean or solid object no larger than one cubic foot and clean. <laughs> not just clean. Ah! Ah! No! what size? Uh, one cubic foot. But like so you okay. if you so like which bit of him are you going to clean? Because he's going to clean me, I'm going to lamp you one. If he's going to clean me, I'm going to lamp you one. If he's in the sweat, he's like scrunched up. So technically, he'd be in that one by one. <laughs> Just the part that's drooling. How, well, how does he? How do you sleep? Uh, like, are you like a plank or are you in a fetal position when you sleep? 
I just literally just fall out. Just ragdoll. Ragdoll. Uh, yeah, you yeah. Could, you could, you but could if someone's close like, enough to me, <laughs> I actually pull them into me and like cuddle them in. I'm like, oh no, uh, spooning. Breathing against <laughs> the back of their neck. <laughs> so he's so going to get. Spread out, you can clean a portion of him. Which bit do you want to clean? Uh, just right. the, the, just the bit that smells the worst. That, uh, that's his breath. His face, it's definitely his yeah. breath. So his face and upper. Upper body, yeah. Upper body is clean, but the rest of it is rank. <laughs> <laughs> so from nipples up here, he's got that. It's immaculate. His clothes are clean, and they're a bright white, <laughs> cream colours, but the lower part it's like is it dark like browns and greens. When you've been on the beach, and it's just like you've had your shirt on. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, no, like, it's, like, it's like those uh, commercials where they only clean the one half of the t-shirt, <laughs> just to show how well it works. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, oh, yeah. hop on board, Mr. Skull, and uh, the lady will take the front seat. <clears throat> you lap your one. Yeah, I'm gonna lap you one. You're trying <laughs> to clean <laughs> it. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this party. You're not really. You're like, not gonna. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> 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 you're not gonna. Oh, yeah. You're not three hit points. Uh, eight plus five, thirteen. You miss. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> try it though. You're just, just missed. <laughs> and then he just cuddles into him. Yeah. He's now the little spoon. Trying to fight you, trying to fight off the clean. Like, I'm, I'm, it's like, ah! getting a toddler in the bath. It's like... <laughs> Alright. Just, just, just scuttle just runs up the other as a very haphazardly poor run. Uh, albeit and clambers on me, on the back, and then just sits his bum down very quietly and starts to grab a book from around his belt again and, and flick through the pages. You pick up on my sled back there. There's a sled, just like a snow. Yeah, he's coming up. 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 He's there's a large dragon following us in the skies, so we needed a disguise. Right. What's best we come up with in a minute? Dragons are very fast. I'm not, but that one was. Is this the dragon? You? In scale, in scales, but not at all. I've never seen one before. Well, maybe you're unlucky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as you leave the tower, you can see, as usual, there are Helvetti patrols covering the area, mounted on the hills uh, overlooking. You can see the, the various groups of foragers coming back, in some cases with a deer or um, rabbits or uh, baskets of uh, berries and some, some the they manage to get. Kind of you know, it's, um, it's good that they've got food, but it's meagre supplies. It's not going to go far, considering the number of people that are... Uh, in the tower. So the tower is here, you've got the hills all around, this is the route you went down to the last time and you got on the road and headed that way. We met the dragon about there. That's right. <clears throat> we need to be around there. And where about was the um, that fortress thing? We went up here, down there last time, didn't we? Yeah. To that fortress where that hill was. That's right. So we turned right to that way. Mm. That was second adventure, but we go back to the earlier. The first. creature we are after is in the farmland. That where was house that we burned. You're not coming that far away, can No, we? no, no. The, it was more towards the end of the path accurate. itself, we went basically and to the, the first house we saw. The dragon was about there, roughly. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, dear. Dragons cover an awful lot of distance. This is just a precautionary measure. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> okay. You are lead. Where were you? Oh, right then, donkey, whatever your name is. Let's go. We haven't named it. That's good. Dice have <laughs> Oh god. It's made to six. <laughs> the horse we're looks going round at you. <laughs> Does not move. <laughs> He's dices by your foot, mate. Oh no, what is it? What was it? It's a. It's a nat 20. <laughs> but it's off the table, Six. so it don't count. Oh, it wasn't much better. So that's fine. Yeah, so what are you tell? 
Oh, six. Oh, six. Yeah, my total was six. <laughs> yeah, this is horse looks around at you. <sighs> Doesn't move. Who are you, bugger? Get going! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gunther, would you like to give this donkey some more of your medical? Uh, a, a slight encouragement. Mm, to encourage me. <laughs> and he leans forward a little crossbow bolt, just kind of big sounds. And just gives him a quick jab in the bum. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the horse starts moving rapidly. The wagon pulls and jerks. <laughs> Everyone's jolting back. Briefly, Jack awaits. <laughs> and I know Paul uh, Kale in tighter to me. At least he doesn't smell as bad now. Yes. Be careful, you nearly spilled my blood. See, it works. <laughs> a little encouragement is all it needed. Alright. You make your way um, in the path through the hills. Uh, the Helvetian uh, guards that see you squint and nod at your group as you go past, recognising you and reacting in the way they do. <laughs> you make your way to the road. <clears throat> okay. So on the road, um, heading uh, to the west. Yes. You're stay on the road as well. With our eyes on the skies. All right. So um, you trundle on the road, making much better progress once you hit the track. Uh, I would like a perception check from it, from everybody who's looking, not you. No. Nope. Because you're actively looking, with yeah, eyes on the sky. And yes. I'm spooning. We had it with it. Oh, one! Oh, one! Your hand slips over your eyes. Alright, 17. 17. So in the sexy. Uh, 20 for a 22. <laughs> oh, nice. 15. Dirty 20. Whoa. Oh. So, obviously, there's a sense of nerves with the story of a dragon. Your eyes are around. And you do indeed see something in the sky. To the south, some distance. You figure possibly this far away. Um, winged lizard like creature. Um, it is not heading towards you, it's mi moving parallel to you. Uh, it is distant. It doesn't hasn't reacted to you, and given its size and your size, may not have even noticed you. But it's up there. You too. Just point out that there, my friend, is what was chasing us. Yes. <sighs> oh, I see. What you don't see anything. I don't see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, blue up it's there. And <laughs> it, 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 how, it, how, far it, it, hmm? how far off? Um, how far off? How confident are you? Yeah. The possibly more than, more than a mile away. More than a mile. Are we in, on the, the track, kind of popping down this way? Are we? Are we plus, plus you you are heading. You're heading this way. Yeah. Currently, oh, it is over cool. here. Shall we? Uh, oh, shall we pull, 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 pull the, the wagon? Right? Right? Shall we pull the wagon into right, the uh, into the trees? Just ready for it to go past? Is distant enough? I I feel like we are fine for now. We stop if it gets closer. He is reaching into that other way. <laughs> Where's that big fucking dragon? <laughs> You're in that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just opening a couple of precautionary measure. Could we not go any any faster with the horse? Maybe Fast, move on past it. Faster draws more attention. Anyway, let's uh, settle ourselves down. There's some music. And just touch the vein. Just, just play. Starts playing a little tune. Starts coming out like a little. Stereo system starts playing a tune. <laughs> so it's, it's a very short tune. It just keeps going around in circles. <laughs> no, it's just it's just This <laughs> <laughs> just, just keeps going round and round. God, that would be awful. We have music. <laughs> That's all it does. <laughs> all right. You you see, you continue along the track. Even with the thing inside. Yeah? Is that the back? Yeah, sorry, I paused for a moment because I thought there was something I forgot to do this morning, but uh, I remember that after a long rest, I in fact did my blessings at the forge. <laughs> so that's useful to know. Alright. I'm just tapping with you. You trundle along, passing uh, along the copse of trees, and the dragon disappears from you in the sky. When you get past the other side of the trees, you look. Back where it is, and you cannot see it in the sky. 
So the trees block its view from you and you come out of the side, nowhere to be seen. Round in every direction. Cannot see it. There you are, it's see? Fine. It's fine. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. As you uh, <laughs> move on, off. you pull the wagon through um, a group of trees, offering a bit of a little bit of security. It seems pleasant almost to have a little bit of cover from the surrounding trees on both sides. Um, you're not far before you reach uh, the main road at this stage. Ahead of you, on the trail, you see an upturned wagon, a barrel has. Uh, fallen off the wagon. No sign of a horse. There are apples poured out of this uh, barrel, strewn across the grass ahead of you. There is a wasp on top of the apples. The wasp is the size of a horse. So. <laughs> uh, what I oh, I'm still so distracted with you. Just. Also, got a lovely soundtrack in the background. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm just watching this in the corner. All make a joint doesn't notice the brick stand. I've got it on my back. Just yeah, just keep keep hugging it, mate. Just don't look this way. I can smell it coming from the back and I have a little tree branch that comes down. It's only about that big little tree and I tap that and a nice little odour, like a potpourri odour, comes back and you just hang out the thing. It's like a little tree and I just kind of hang it in the back. <laughs> so it's just a nice little right. scent is coming in the back now just to try and mask the smell of Jack. <laughs> That's much better. <laughs> so you are moving on the trail. Gotta name the horse. So the other cart will be there. I only have one cart for a moment. Use that for it. <coughs> and there's this wasp. Fucking. It's a goddamn beetle, ain't it? Do you have an Arabic style? I will have one, yes. So one on the. The play show. Uh, so. Yeah, he's like probably on there, isn't he? I don't think there's anybody from. I don't think anybody's played catch from Zara, I don't think that's one. Uh, okay, that's you. That's you, that is. Cool. So, like the. What are the. The oh, yeah. last race that's in Skyrim, a bit like that. Oh, you not because like, not. No, I'm saying, uh, no, it's, well, I've got the accent from the Khajiits, but... Yes. No, 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 not the Khajiits, the... It's uh, like... <coughs> the spot, yeah, 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 yeah. You said they have, like, scimitars and they have, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's a plonk in that, you know? I'm in the back, there's no point trying to balance it. <laughs> okay. Right, so, if you like this in the back <laughs> with... <laughs> Khalil. Khalil, thank you very much. Actually lying down and spooning, yeah, that would yeah. be nice. Well, he's got to be lying down at all, come on. <laughs> not lying down. Like, if I do, he's going to... Everyone will all drop. Oh, you're spooned, There mate. you go. <laughs> <You're cool. clears throat> so this thing is moving over these apples, turning the apples over. Um, it's moving quite slowly. So there's wings periodically. Stop, 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 stop. stop. <laughs> we'll stop the car. Uh, Hey, like, big wasp. It's like, uh, it's, I'm just gonna stand up and just sort of have a look over the, uh, have a look over it, see what's going on. Surely oh. we could put put those those th- 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 that bit of food to better use than the wasp can. It's a very big wasp. And then look around. Distracted. You just can't take your eyes off that wasp. It's huge. It had a stinger on it. Is, is there any way we can? I'll look around to see whether there's any way we can have to get around him. So I'm going to check the, the trees. Is there, is there a path we can get around? We're directly on the path. <coughs> there is <coughs> grass around it. You could move, try and push your way through the rest of the trees if you want to. Do I see anything while I'm looking in the trees? You can go perception check for me. Uh, I'm not very perceptive. I'm only eleven. 
three off the line. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big box. <coughs> uh, can't see anything. Oh, the rabbit. <laughs> As I look at the the wasp, can I see any injuries on it? Is it does it look healthy? I'll get a perception check from you. What does it get added to? It's a perception from the skills. Yeah, I just need to change my AC. I've not done it properly. Uh, it should be 10 uh, plus my dex bonus and my dex is 5. You can't see any injuries. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's Oh, is that nine? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <coughs> yeah, you can't see any injuries on it. It is late in the season where it's starting to get colder. If it's like regular wasps, they get Silly more season. Yeah, they get Five more aggressive in this sort of time. Nine. They're not collecting food for the hive anymore. But these things are massive. How big are they compared to me, as I know about Huge. three feet? So it's a large creature. I think you're a small, aren't you? I'm small. I'm only three foot. <coughs> it's legitimately <laughs> the size of a horse. Mm. So huge. Yeah. Um, You'd imagine um, there to be more. Is than it one eating the one. apples? Or <coughs> yeah, it's turning apples over and um, putting its proboscis into it. And I mean, also have a proboscis. I thought they have. Yeah. I was going to say. So. Well, either way, it's massive I mean, and oh, oh, it's oh. very big. Yes. Mm. I mean. We could try and frighten it off. Uh, it stops pulling its head up from the apples, turning round, wings, turns to face your cart. That's, that's the sweet thing you put. What was that sweet thing that you put on the thing? Oh, the little nice smelling. It's like a little car thing. Smells nice. Gonna, I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm you see the back to you smell, take the smell of him off. <laughs> I'm just going to throw it as far as I can that way. <laughs> <coughs> Maybe a throne roll, but. Uh, I don't know what it is. Po- uh, uh, yeah, push deck. It was a little potpourri thing that I had made before to take the smell of Jack. <coughs> 13. 13, where'd you throw it? Uh, just into the tree line there. Okay. All right. You. Wait, as you do that. Oh, we hit go. another wasp in the face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, as that throw's going on, I've jumped off the back of the cart and using my tinder box and my torch to try get some form of fire. Okay. Going. You start making a fire. I don't need to a but what exactly are you doing? Oh, so sometimes when I was when I was back at home, we used to get bees that came in, if they're anything like those, smoke, they don't like smoke. So I'm just trying to get something together to do that. There's another one that's appeared. It may actually not be a bad idea. Yeah. Be careful, there's a lot of things on this wagon that can go up in flames. Like all of it. Should we, should including we, Jack. Should we, <laughs> <laughs> oh. should we start, start backing the, back the horse up a little bit, Mrs. Stonewall? One emerges from the branches of a tree, and you can see it has a, like a sticky substance all over its face and its front legs. It's paused, it sits motionless, its head looking directly at the cart. This one's turned back to the apples, this one's distracted by your friend, but that one seems to be focused is, is, on is, the is cart. Is it a clear, sticky substance or? Uh, slightly yellowish. Checks out. Hmm. Could we uh, go around while it's distracted? Maybe go around it? Maybe go up, have a look into the trees over here, Mr. Storm? I think going around it would be a good idea. As yeah. far as I'm making my fire, I'm sort of around that bit there, trying to pick up the dried grass uh, to, to, to smoke it a little. Okay. And then I, peer, I sit up and I peer into the trees to see if I can see as I can hear you lot all talking. You start getting some smoke off it. That one comes from the tree and lands heavily to the side <laughs> on the ground in front of your cart. Now only 15 feet away from you. You've got some smoke coming up from where you've got your grass going. I'm, I'm sort of standing, standing up on the cart. I'm just like, I've got, I've got my staff, <clears throat> on my wood stick really. And I'm just, I'm ready in action. I'm ready to spell a cantrip if any of them do some sort of uh, well, um, aggressive action. Spoon. I, no, see, I, I see. I see what he's. I see what he's doing with the fire. That's a good idea. Funnel around the pack and I pull a torch out at the same time. Now I kind of light the just light the torch up. Okay. And I start passing a couple out. I say, good idea. I pass a couple of torches. Mrs. Stonewall. 
Uh, no, thank you, love. I've only got Dagger. two hands. There you go. It's another step towards the cart. Slowly moving its head towards the ground, touching it on rocks and wings. <laughs> Backing up a little bit. It's getting quite close. At this point, I've got quite a good bit of smoke. Going from yeah. Feeding the dry grass. Feeding the dry grass, and I move. So you got some smoke yeah. curling up into the air. I move towards Just the the front of the horse uh, kind of a little bit the more. Thing round in front of me, try, <laughs> trying to get it in front of the horse to hopefully encourage the horse to move back a bit at the same time. As well, the horse is uh, moving its legs, uh, agitated at this. Uh, <clears throat> this thing in front of it, and it's it's turning to the side, pulling against the front of the wagon. All right, seeing this, I'm gonna I'll do the bold move then. I'll take my torch. Thank you for that. Yep. Straight in front. I will okay. also step off the wagon <coughs> and take a step forward. I'll, I'll take, I'll I'll take the, the reins from uh, Mrs. Stonewall, and I'll try and settle the horse and move him out the way so he doesn't get spooked. Okay. Um, and I'll happily check from you. Yeah. Try to turn. Can, can I move up just one, just so that the. Yeah. Ten. Ten. <coughs> okay, let's see how the horse feels about this. If it takes another step forward, I'm going to cast a spell. Okay. Yeah, um, <coughs> the horse seems as tensed up and is not re responding to you pulling on the reins. I want everybody to roll initiative <laughs> because everybody's pushing to do stuff. So. Apart from me, I'm asleep. Apart <laughs> oh, from you, you're asleep. I'm yeah. very distracted with the horse. I only got four. I got two. Oh. <laughs> Woo! It's that one, right? Yes. <coughs> Are you on? Do you want me to still roll for this? Just yeah, we'll put you in the order of it, yeah. All right, so one to five. I four. Got two. <laughs> okay. I'm distracted with my horse. Four and uh, two uh, for Scuffle. Okay. Uh, five to ten. Six. Seven. Six for Jack, seven for Kadel. Uh, ten, fifteen. I wasted it. I got a nat twenty, so I'm twenty-one. <laughs> Snow Wall is on it. Uh, Jagger, what's seventeen? Seventeen. Okay, and the. Why did I make that like two rolls? Seventeen. Oh, yeah. 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 I thought you were going to give him a name. I just got <laughs> <laughs> Willy Wasp. <laughs> All right. So, initiative at this stage. Mrs. Stonewall, you step forward. And you're waiting for it to move forward. Is there anything else you'd like to do at this stage? I will shout. Wake that festive bastard up. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him it's serious. Okay. If, yeah, so if you know the routine, doesn't matter if it's serious, no drink, no fight. <laughs> if it takes a step towards me, I'm going to cast a command. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Dagger. Uh, hmm, yeah, there's not much I can do, so I'll just. The same, yeah, if it comes towards, I'll just. Ready to swipe with the torch. All right. So that's it. Okay. So, on my turn. One second. Come on, you bastard. <laughs> That's what I'm saying to the horse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's the name of the horse then. <laughs> bastard. You bastard! <laughs> <laughs> that looks for Jack actually. <laughs> it just calls everyone bastard. a bastard. I'm thinking you're just good wasp. Good wasp. <laughs> <laughs> Is it because we had a wasp in there last time? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, they did have a wasp in there last time. Actually, I had all these wasps done for an encounter like two and a half years ago. And it just lockdown happened, so they just went in the drawer. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful plant stuff as a DM, it never goes that way, does it? Mm. Well. That's fine, you can just put it all now. <laughs> Two and a half. That might be the earliest finish we've ever done. <laughs> oh, right. Best <laughs> session. Best ever. session. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours. <laughs> Cheerio. <laughs> One wasp so just getting carried away to a wasp nest. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, crap, that means there's more of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had about eight made. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> but that was for the higher level group. <laughs> oh, right, okay, fair enough. Awesome. Okay. Would be two ones, three twos, uh, three, four, I can't read. No, I don't have two. I'm confused. I was on high levels. levels. Oh. Because he was two high levels, so that was it. Yeah, number three. B for Mrs. Stone and I should have that. All right. Mm. Okay. All right. So um, this one. Three sessions. Most of which we just get. Takes another step forward. You go swing a little. Okay. Make me an attack roll. Are you swinging with the uh, flag? With that initiative, can I try and That's do my true. reaction? You absolutely can. Yes. Thank you. Uh, oh, my, uh, my 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 reaction is when they do an aggressive action towards us. But yeah, he's only yeah. stepped forward at the moment, uh, so. So it's a command, one word, command. And on its turn it will do that, yeah. So what would it be? It's a hyphenated word. <laughs> Buzz off. <laughs> Ooh, I don't think he's going to appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> Could he sort it and tell it to flee? <coughs> There's a saving throw, is there not? Yeah, but it's a wisdom saving throw, please. All right. Okay. Uh, it's 13. Oh, just reach, just does it. Yeah, I needed a 12. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Good. Uh, we're going for strength, dirty 20. Okay. You f uh, you're not trying to hit it, are you? No. Just waft it in its face. Yeah, okay. Just take that out. All right. Uh, as you um, swing its face, it backs off from you. Uh, so moving away. But uh, as it does that, it's going to attack Mrs. Stonewall. And I'm going to Eldritch Blast it. Okay. Yes! <laughs> so my Eldritch Blast has mm. got a bit, of a bit of a flavor to it. It's uh, a massive fist, a spectral fist, comes out the floor and hits him. All right. <laughs> you hope. <laughs> it's also got wings. Yeah, well, not a it. Oh. oh! 23. Okay, give us some damage. Okay, uh, so that's 1d10. One, one uh, is, is it the diamond? Is it this one? D10 is. Yes. So that's 5 force damage. Okay. But 2 bludgeoning damage because of my patron. So oh! The yeah, bludgeoning. The bludgeoning. <laughs> all right. So you see like a like a hand come out the floor, but it's got rings all over its all over its, all over its hand. So and it comes and hits it. All right. So <laughs> round to one, Mrs. Stonewall. You cast your eldritch blast. The fist <laughs> bursts out the ground, yeah. slamming into the side of it, um, angering the wasp even more. I can, I can move it five feet as well. Okay. With, uh, it's a, uh, I've got a feet would, called crushing Would you feet, like so to? I'd like to move it five feet away from it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Where? Uh, diagonally, yeah. There? There? Yeah. All right. Look you this. It's yeah, moving yeah, to Mrs. Stonewall. Yeah, yeah. Lifting itself off the ground and uh, putting its stinger towards I'm you. Just clock what the ring is. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, when I played around with the genie, right. so it's a 20, dirty. Yes, that's a hit. Alright. Okay, um, it is six points of damage. <laughs> so it lifts itself off the ground with its wings. Uh, Fitting the stinger towards you, jabbing you straight in the side. You feel the intense pain and a hot flush run through you as you make a constitution saving throw. Uh, it's a lack of it. <laughs> 20. Okay, you make it. Was that a poison attack? Because that's a dwarf, so it would have had advantage as well. Okay. But well, I did not need it. <laughs> it is fine. You, you've, uh, you've gone through some hard. Uh, <laughs> some hard you ta you've more. taken some hard fluids <laughs> in your time. You've been married after all, yeah. <laughs> several times. So you're only going to take half damage from the poison. <laughs> okay, so it's 15 points of damage, halved, so you're going to take 7. 
What's the poison that we Alright. I'll be dead. So, <laughs> Stinger in you. And uh, there's a sudden sweet smell in the air. Um, as that happens, the other wa- the wasp I've been able to <laughs> look around. And the same with that one. They won't act yet, though. Well, okay, I'll just blast that one again. <laughs> do what warlocks do. Nope, no one. Eight. Eight is a miss. So the fist bursts again. <laughs> Misses it this time. Too fast. Uh, I'm going to bonus action. Oh, hold on. I do. Um, I'm going to cast. Oh, I can cast a bonus action. That's a counter, isn't it? So le- you can do a leveled spell. So a leveled spell and a cantrip. I'm going to cast as a bonus action. I'll cast sanctuary on uh, Mr. Stonewall. Sanctuary on Mr. Stonewall. So uh, you ward a creature within range against attack until the spell ends. Any creature who targets the ward creature with an attack or harmful spell must first make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. If I fail to save, the creature must choose a new target or lose the attack. And I believe if she makes a hostile action, it drops. Is that right? That uh, if. The water creature makes an attack. Yeah, cast a spell that. All oh, right. It's more just to keep you somewhat alive. <laughs> Is that everything, Khalil? Yeah, that's everything. I mean, she's got most of it down all the time. Jack, you're there. asleep in the back of the wagon. Oh, did, did I hear Mrs. Stonewall shouting to me? Set the check. I'm telling what you did. Uh, Twenty. Don't you? Yes, you heard it. Your eyes snap open. Drink. <laughs> 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 Stepping around, uh, and I just see this massive wasp, like, and that's all I'm gonna do. My turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Confusion. Uh, okay, so I'm still on. I'm still at the reins. Yes, so I'm trying to get the horse out of the way. I smell that smell. Oh yeah, it's sudden and intense. Mm, I I realise what's happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch the wagon and I'm going to make it stink really bad okay. to counteract the pheromone. <laughs> And I'm going to try and move the horse away. Like, come on, bastard! Come on, bastard! Okay. <laughs> All right, make an animal happy. Yeah. He's still not happy with moving. He's an eight. Okay. Um, so he moves forward five feet. Like no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. All right. So uh, the smell wafts yeah. over it the air. It smells almost like Jack, but only worse. <laughs> Could and I I'm going to possible. shout out, Jack, we can make alcohol from them. What would you like to do, Snuffle? <laughs> so, d- yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to nimbly, for as nimble as a dwarf, a mountain dwarf can be, mm-hmm. uh, Dash around the front of the uh, the horse. Okay. <clears throat> Moving past uh, Khalil, and I'm going to go with the torch in one hand, and I've got my one-handed battle axe in the other. Swipe at the um, wasp's legs. You want to go there? Yeah. Okay. So make me a melee attack roll. Is that that one? Yeah. Just uh, roll d20, and then you add that plus. Uh, uh, 12. Alright, you <laughs> wafted at it. Don't get its legs, but wave the flame in front of it. It moves away from it, but uh, that's all you get. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that brings us top of the round, round two. Mrs. Stonewall. Feel this aura of magic waft over you. I am going to cast Bless. One, two, three. Yeah, so saving throws and attack rolls, you can add d4. Not to everyone, sorry. Sorry, backliners. <laughs> <laughs> Dagger, Scuttle, and myself. Oh, right, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I Don't go to the lane, you don't get the bus. <laughs> I think I should, yeah, I think I should be in the, I, I, I'd be in the, the garage with the monk. With yeah. Jack, yeah. 
you're a very brave warlock. Yeah, no, no, I'd, I'd, I'd rather stay in the carriage. Got a bit cooler, so. <laughs> you okay. can do your fisting for no reason. Yeah. Is that everything for Mrs. Stonewall? No, unfortunately, it is. All right, she back. will yell out some dwarvish obscenities at the wasp and some words of encouragement to the scuttle. All right. Going to basically just trample on everyone that is inside the cart. Apologies. So I'm going to climb up, head my way, put a foot almost on that ledge, and take a look at the two wasps. About a nice big draconic roar. It's going to be two things one, first act of rage, two, a uh, long line of black bile and acid just launches out. All right. Right down both of those need to make Ooh. a dexterity save. You got uh, what's the length of your 30 feet? That's great. All right, dexterity save the one closest to the wagon, natural one. Yeah. <laughs> the one further away, uh, that is a 12. Dagger just jumped into the back. Ah, okay. Yeah. I'm in the wagon as well. well <laughs> you're in the wagon? Yeah, in the wagon. I put you just there. Yeah. Yeah. Next How next time time time. Uh, so that is eight to the closest, four to the first. Okay. Okay. And from that, use the rest of my movement to it's just go and set the way out. Anyway, yeah, right. so <laughs> huge gout of acid, almost appearing at that length to be more acid than he could contain in his body. In a long line, searing the grass all the way along there, spraying both of the wasps. Jack, not one. You done? That's me. All right, on my round. <laughs> this is one. <laughs> um, so they were actually bought for hell wasps, which were a different type of creature, which are far worse than these regular. I think wasps. these are doing well enough with that one fifteen <laughs> points of poison damage earlier. I did roll very well against Mr. Stonewall. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so um, the one that's here, <laughs> sensing it would be challenging to attack Mr. Stonewall. It's going to attack Dagger, seeing as that was a source of the acid. All right. That is a nine to hit Dagger. So up into the air, and the Stinger comes towards you, misses in the air as you dodge to the side. Okay, so. The smell didn't have any effect then. No. <laughs> yeah, 30, 35, 40. Forty-five, fifteen. Okay, this one's going to take an attack on Scuffle. Oh, can't hit the tray, can't hit your target. That's not good for you. <laughs> oh, 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 wow! That was one of those with the dice rolled a five and I thought, oh, it's alright, and then just tipped over to an eighteen. <laughs> okay, so, first things first. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to take uh, four points of piercing damage as the stinger into you. Okay. And you're going to make a constitution saving throw. So I go. Uh, you really need to make this constitution saving throw at this uh, level. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I guess so, um, is he a dwarf? He has an advantage, doesn't he? It's four. Is he yes, a dwarf? He's a dwarf. Yeah, I'm dwarf. So you, get you, you have advantage. You have advantage, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you get to roll again and take the highest roll. Dwarfs. <laughs> four again. <laughs> oh. Double twos. <laughs> okay, well, the roll isn't awful. It's eight points of poison damage. Reduced to four. Yes. Yeah. It is poison. So that's another four. Yeah. Okay, so it could have been far worse. <laughs> Could have been far worse. It's three D. Far better. It's it's three D six poison. 
Oh, okay. So, so someone's going to get to learn how and what the needle's like, so you think. Okay. Flying straight dive bombing you. Yeah. Yeah. You're the. Can't use the bonus action. He jumped off. Yeah. All right, it's a 13. No. Okay, this is you. This one will fly in. Gets that far, but will double move to move all the way around to the uh, top of the other the horse. Uh, that's me done, it's Khalil's go. Uh, mm. Oh, the best. Before that. <laughs> 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 it's going to be obvious, but I'm just trying to decide what time it is. They're everywhere! They're everywhere! <laughs> um, the booze! <laughs> <laughs> how, how badly is that one looking the one that we've been attacking more? That one next to the um, fighters? It's injured. That's the best way to get from it. Can I tell how it is? Um, it's doesn't, doesn't look as good as it did. It looks angry. It's agitated. It looks like someone's got a beer and one wasp has been squashed on the table and all the others know it. I'll just blast the one above. Alright, the one in the air. Okay. Yes! 20. Do 20. Alright. Right. That's good. Uh, 9 force damage, 2 bludgeoning damage. That's good. And I'm going to push it 5 feet, even though it's, it's fine, I'm going to push it 5 feet away. 5 feet away? Yeah. Alright. Uh, and then I'm going to... Um, uh, do I stay in the cave? Do I stay in there? So, on top of this... On top of this wagon, is there any sort of like, I mean, it's, we've got foliage on the top, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. I'm not going to try and hide, but I'm going to try and like kind of get down and try and like stay away from the stigma base. I'm just going to sort of hide. You're going to try and hide? Not try and hide, but like more kind of like get as much cover as I can from it. Okay. Stay right. hiding. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, 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 I put translate on. I heard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So okay. So you try and duck back a bit into the cover of the bag. Yeah. Like a little gun. Yes. Jack, 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 Jack. Right. So the one's just come at me. Jack's angry. He's pissed off. He's got no drink. Someone's tried to hurt him. He's been cleaned. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna take a, a swing at it. Uh, Dirty 20. Is a hit. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do some dope monk shit. Yeah. So, should this level just back here? Uh, 7 points of bludgeoning damage. Yes. And then I might mean, as well do a bonus action on arm strike. I'm going to use my key points again. 24. Yep. Yeah. So that's uh, another 5 points of bludgeoning damage. Alright, oh, great. great. Okay, so, <laughs> angry as you are, Jack, you just punch this wasp right in the face. <laughs> it shakes its head almost in disbelief. It's slamming into it again. <laughs> okay, uh, Jack then? Yeah, it's like being in the beer garden, ain't it? It's, you try to fight it away from the drink, it's just making it angry. He's got the horse, he's got a rolling around the horse, he sees the wasp coming down from there, and he pulls open this jacket and pulls out a big kind of tube out from inside it, it's like a big meaty tube, okay. and he's just gonna <laughs> punt a, a, a shot up to towards that. <laughs> Funk. <laughs> and all he hears, <laughs> Funk. <laughs> uh, it's catapult, first level spell. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna fire it up to up to him, and it just says that you need to make a dexterity saving throw. For the one in the air. Yeah. That does not look good for me. That 
it's a 10. No, it's a 13. Okay. So it hits you, uh, so uh, straight line 90 feet, choose uh, stopping early if it impacts a solid surface or an object strikes a creature, the creature must make a dexterity save throw it, and the fail save, the object strikes a creature and stops moving. I believe it's in the air, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> um, the object strikes early, the object takes 3d8 bludgeoning damage, oh, and then yes. he's going to fall out of the sky. So. Oh, okay. Brilliant. Eight. Oh. Ten. So 17. 17? Okay, 17 points of damage on that one. That's damn good. As you described it, I was thinking t shirt cannon. <laughs> you have a t shirt. I envisioned a steampunk esque sort of. I was just thinking of fuck, I've got a My parents used to have a vacuum and it had an input and output thing, and you could change the hose over the output. And I used to dram all of the, you know, the centre of Kinder Eggs as yellow things. <laughs> we used to have one called the Mess Cannon, and it's a rocket launcher that you fill with lighter fluid in the top. Okay. See it there, and you, you light it, you press the trigger, and it says a lighter that goes in, and it fires things down the corridor. As you set up an hour 50 meter corridor, and everybody was standing at the end, and you had to run between them, and you try and shoot them, and run past. So that's where it came from. So he now hits him with that. So, flies straight into the wasp. The wasp doesn't need to stop moving as it falls dead to the ground. Yes! Hey, woo. That still no. doesn't distract the fact you fired a little rocket launcher at your friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah it's pretty, it was good fun. Oh, then, right. uh, for the movement, I'm going to try and move the horse. So okay. what I want to do is, the one that's landed down there, I'm going to try and get Bastard, who's now named the horse, <laughs> okay. to run that way, try and run run over the Animal horse. handling check. The, animal see, animal do it the whole bastard is skittish. Fifteen. Oh. Okay, he cooperates, where do you want him to go? I want him to just run over the wasp. You want him to run into the wasp? <laughs> yeah, it's it's like just going to get him, bastard! <laughs> oh, he goes next to the wasp, doesn't actually impact him. Oh. <laughs> I disapprove, but we'll understand. <laughs> okay, uh, so he comes to the hole. So what does, what does Bless do? Say D4 to your. Oh, yeah, it should have been a D4 extra to your saving throw. He made it. He wouldn't have helped. That's your hit as well. Yeah, it wouldn't have So when you try and hit or make the saving throw, you get an extra D4. The one that uh, I'm currently facing that has has been been a bit of a struggle, I sort of interweave myself underneath its legs to try to come up behind it and. and with the axe instead of the torch, try slam at his ass. So do you want you want to try and move around him? Yeah. To the other side. Now, if you move, if you move away from him, you will provoke an attack of opportunity from this one. He'll get a free attack on you. Right. Okay. Now I wouldn't normally tell you, but it's your first okay. go. So. <laughs> Scratch that. <laughs> I would say as well that it would be worth it because look at that number that he has to try and roll to hit him. It's well worth it to move. If, yeah, I think it would be worth it because that's an 18 AC. It's very high, especially for level one. Okay, cool. Uh, Power it's, it, I'm only telling you they can do that. That's, the, but it doesn't mean they will hit you. It does also. Yeah. 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 However, it if, does it also does, mean, if the same happens, you can also hit them back. If it does hit you, don't do look at how much yeah, yeah. damage you did to Mrs. Stonewall. The level one counter, you're going down, mate. Do you want to risk it, risk it for a biscuit? What would your counter do? What yeah. would your that's, counter that's do? Awesome, but yeah. He would, he would go, yeah. All right, he do would it. go. He so you're going to try and get round the back yeah. of him. Okay, the wasp there will take an attack of opportunity on you. Yeah. There was a wasp on the other side, so I get advantage. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, thank you. I didn't even know. Oh, you didn't tell him about that, though, did you? <laughs> I can only be so lazy. Come on, we can make this. I feel like if I stayed there, I might get hit anyway. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Well, yeah, you probably wouldn't still be a fat as well. You still can't think so. Mm. How does it bless? Yes. So it's a miss because I've got arm class 8. Yes. So at you, but you scuttle around, get, as per your name, and get to the other side of him. This is just a game of maths. At this point, (laughs) I've got the battle axe sort of at the back ready to slam straight into that one. Okay, so you get the axe and... And you, down, down, you, get, you get advantage there. You get advantage. Yeah, 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 you got one on the other side, so you can roll two dice and, and the highest D4. number. I guess roll two dice, sorry. Uh, yes, two D20s, yeah. Thank you. And pick, pick the highest one. Yes. 
Well, don't forget your D4. I'm going to get an extra D4 if you want to roll that. So 30 because you're blessed. That one. Yes. And then plus one, so 14. 14. What's that number there? Plus five is 19. 19 is definitely a hit. Yeah. We like a hit. <laughs> <laughs> one D8. That's. Uh, you don't roll a D8 as well. Yeah. What's that one? That's that one. Only on the two hit, don't you? Eight. Is it only on the two hit, is it? Yeah, with not bad. six plus, plus three, so it's a nine. Okay, you come around the back with the axe, slam it straight into the body of the wasp, killing it. Yeah, that's what we like. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Um, all right, anything else from Scuttle? Um, you've got an action. If you've got a bonus action, you can use it. Where do you see bonus actions? Is it's that the bottom it's bit? It's it would normally say in the text. Yeah, so you don't have the bottom. Bit. No. Okay. No, no, that's it. All right, you're done. You took a risk and it paid off. Okay, <laughs> top of the round. Round three, Mrs. Stonewall. Mrs. Stonewall. Move to here. She'll say, uh, What's that? You're hol- calling the horse custard? <laughs> Good boy, Custard, good boy. <laughs> Out of the way, I'm going to smash this bloody thing. Right. I'm going to warhammer this wasp. Oh no. You're going to charge you 50 pounds so for three miniatures. <laughs> so that's my bless. Uh, it's 16 to hit. That is a hit. And it's 10 points. Warhammer damage. Ten points of Warhammer damage. Sanctuary drops. Oh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> it's Mrs. Stone. She never needed it in the first place. Yeah. All right, still up. Bonus action. A healing word on the uh, scuttle. For maximum six points of health back. Yeah. <laughs> At this level, that's such a <laughs> huge <laughs> amount. <laughs> That's literally half of yeah. his arm <laughs> reattaches. <laughs> the other group, level 13. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. As the heel comes in, yeah. you, you, you do hear a faint over the, you can't quite see me over the body of the uh, wasp, but you hear a faint, oh! So <laughs> <laughs> I feel the waft of healing come over. <laughs> All right. Wasp being the word. <laughs> Wasp the wasp. And this is Stonewall done. Done. All right, dagger. Uh, looking over to the right, how uh, how bad is Mr. Wasp be doing against our friend Jack? Well, Jack looks awful, but he hasn't taken any damage. <laughs> <laughs> um, the wasp has taken a two strong blows to the head and he's shaking its head, trying to gain, regain its composure. And how tall are you? <laughs> Oh, it's a personal what question, isn't it, love? Four foot the fact, Benny. How tall is a dwarf? You shouldn't ask a lady Four that. Foot nothing. What size dress are you as well? <laughs> uh, bronze. Dwarf <laughs> <laughs> dress size is a bronze, silver, and gold. <laughs> but it's actually the bigger is the better one. Yeah. I'm a diamond right. myself. So I'm going to. Uh, yeah, so I'm actually going to jump over Mr. Stonewall um, and come swinging down on this wasp player. All right. Oh, whoops. You... <laughs> okay. You get round there. And this is going to be reckless because <coughs> I'm going to be jumping over you. So. I'm going to recklessly leap. <laughs> I'm going to recklessly leap. <laughs> <laughs> Make an athletic check. Oh, uh, an acrobatic check, actually, because you're going to... Okay, you're I'll gonna... put them on uh, <laughs> Were they low? <laughs> uh, it's a nine. A nine. <laughs> so... <laughs> so <was> <laughs> <laughs> wait, was that, wait, was that athletics or acrobatics? It was acrobatics. Okay. So... It runs and leaps over you, misjudging your height, and you get just a clip of a boot <laughs> on the back of the head. <laughs> you do land on the other side, but you catch Mrs. Stonewall as you go past. Take a point of damage, Mrs. You Stonewall. You scaly bastard! <laughs> Custard. <laughs> you do land on the other side. No one saw. <laughs> okay, so that would be a... Is that is a hit. Uh, for a top us, uh, ten slashing damage. Ten yeah. slashing damage. That's enough. That one is down. Exactly what you needed to kill it. 
Okay. Uh, realizing uh, after that, looking over just my stone wall, in the back head, uh, voluntarily end my rage and just say, I'm, I'm very sorry, Mr. Dogwood. End my rage to apologize. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, that's what he does. He's All right. more scared of Mrs. Stonewall. <laughs> so, uh, my go, oblivious to what's going on, the remaining wasp focuses on Jack. He's going to take an attack on you. Natural one. <laughs> <laughs> my smell must be putting it off. <laughs> <as well. laughs> does not smell sweet in the way that wasps like. <laughs> the apples are sour. <laughs> All right. Black eye as well. <laughs> I'm going to stand up and fist the wasp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> you heard me. <laughs> you know exactly what he said. No, I'm not going to fist the wasp. <laughs> okay, the, the yeah, the uh, ethereal fist <laughs> almost hits Jack. nearby. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Kyle? Um, no, <laughs> not really much else. And no, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Jack versus wasp. <laughs> This flute's just annoying, I'm just like... <laughs> you're going to try to stomp on it, so... <laughs> <laughs> you okay? 19. 19 is it. Uh, I, I, I don't know if he's the dumbest one in uh, Four points of damage in off that one. Okay, uh, he's still up. Go for an arm strike. That's a miss, that's only an annoying... Alright, you punch him just below the wing. Uh, he's still going. Spend your key point. <laughs> Strike the wasp down. Yeah, I'm annoyed, but I'm just going to keep on. And your journey towards the B side will be complete. Sixteen. Sixteen is hit. <laughs> Feel the rage. <laughs> uh, and another four points of bludgeoning damage. It is not enough. He's still up. Oh my god! I can't actually spend another key point, can I? So. All right, Jack is done. Done there. Um. I'm going to, um, I can't do much, I'm going to try first, I'm going to try and manoeuvre the horse around, because I'm still holding the horse, All right. so I can't do much than that, so, uh, uh, and what hammer is it, so, 14. 14, it will cooperate, you can move the cart when uh, you want. Uh, I'm trying to get uh, mustard around this way. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as I come round, um, again, I'm trying to get him round. I'm going to shoot off a crossbow. Actually, no, crossbows are two handed, so I can't do that one. So I can't do that. But um, he's going to fire a, one of his fireball bombs out from, from his arm. Okay. So he's going to come round, he's going to lock his little, pull one of the rounds off, and I'm going to try and punch one off. I'm <laughs> hoping it's not a legitimate fireball. Uh, <laughs> it's five bots. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> Jeez, that's, he's tanned face even more tanned. Uh, oh, that's a twenty-two. That's a hit. Uh, what's this? Oh no, it's one d ten, isn't it? I picked up ten. I picked up ten. Yeah. There we go. That's a twelve. There's a few of them there. Thank you very much. Uh, just three points of damage. Okay. <laughs> Firebolt shoots forth, slamming into the side of the wasp, incinerate inside of it. It squeals for a moment before flipping on its back, its wings just fluttering throughout combat. Whoa, 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 Took damage. <laughs> 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 Just in case. Right. Soon soon you got end end of combat. Yes. We are out of combat. Right. Uh, whilst you guys are doing what you're doing, I'm going to these pop off to the toilet. Is this in right character? Yeah. Just thought he's going to go throw up now. He's going to go pee on the, the, the wasp. Yeah. 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 He hasn't urinated yet, so yeah. He's going to go and do that. Piss on one of the zombies last time in the urine. Mm, no. You pissed on something or something. There was um, some palisades or something, went, you know, some defensive line, and he just went off a piss and went. Oh, saw yeah, those crates, didn't he, with apples and pops in it. And then he pissed against some guy's tent and they moaned about it. So then he spat on the that tent. That was the one. Yeah. Yeah. Tent. So yeah. as the last wasp flies off, Scuttle 
lets his axe drop so that the blade is right next to his hand and attempts to cut into the to the wasps, um, but he continuously slices because he's a lot. Of the, some of these books that he's read uh, tend to be on medicine and, and so on and so forth. So he he's read about the, uh, the the helps that sometimes you can cure poisons by interacting it with other okay. poisons. So he attempts to try and get one of the venom sacks. Make from the me <coughs> because you're using an axe, which is hardly a precision surgery tool. Um, you make me a, and you're saying you source it from, from what you say, I'll take a medicine roll with disadvantage please. Okay, okay. Try and extract this. I've known some very good doctors who used an axe. Which one would that be? <laughs> <laughs> Dwarven medicine. Obviously. Wouldn't work on an elf. <laughs> 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 you get better, you! <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. Yeah, you don't. You don't. Same my auntie. Save my auntie. Kill the king of Nadar. <laughs> 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 Eight or the three. The three. Three, 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 three plus four, seven. Seven. Okay, so you taking the axe gently cut into it and just split open <laughs> the rear of it, and goo sprays everywhere, all over the floor, and venom. It all soaks into the ground. Oh, you can't retrieve this, but it is all over the head of your axe, and a bit is dripping down the uh, haft as well. So I leave that to. Uh, I, I, Bring out a journal, just leave my axe to one side, scribble in there what I've done so that I can hope to learn in the in the future. And then just pop the axe back in its shaft, still dripping with the uh, the venom and hopes that it will dry then. I go to come out to rejoin you. Are you doing the secret this real quick? No, no, full view of Full view of everyone. In that case, I'm just going to wander over. You say we're dropping from the axe, right? Yeah. Okay. It's flat, the pit flats, but it's now empty, thanks to someone. <laughs> <laughs> and just start. You, you, as long as it takes. To okay. off <coughs> Make me a dexterity check to see how. A slight hand check, actually. I'll go for slow hand. See how well you can reduce this. Not much better. Seven. <laughs> Seven. Alright, you. <laughs> It's really thick, <laughs> really thick. It's like trying to get a piece of jelly through the eye of a needle. Uh, so you've got it all around the top of your flask and on the side of it. It just seems so thick, it's not breaking the airlock to get in there. Uh, maybe you might be able to do something with that. So, uh, I, I, I can get that go. Take the bar of him, move over to the one that died closer up here yep. in hopes to just smack into it and and what can only be described as a clumsily ram the jelly like substance into the. So you're trying it again on another wasp? I'll tell you what, I've seen you struggling, I'll help you. What I've been been so far. Do, okay, do you have a, a knife? Or the wasps. Right. Uh, you yeah, leave them to uh, it. Uh, I didn't go very well last time. Uh, you see him currently holding uh, a. Here a off fire she, shot. Yep. Great um, seeing you bubbling up all the time. It would be much better. Join in. <laughs> in order to. Your legs is probably better. You had a, 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 a dagger, you left it in Kellen's butt. Oh, that is true. <laughs> 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 there <laughs> might be some cider. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. All right. So you can make a straight roll, but you get an assistance. Is he holding the butt of this wasp <laughs> for you? <laughs> Hold the butt steady. Dragon holding the butt of a wasp. And and there you are with the dagger. So you can make me a roll with advantage now. Beetle, you harden it. Beetle, you harden it. Yes. Nine. You gently. Gently just tease open the abdomen of the wasp. It's a little bit hard, and then it just gives in and sinks fully into it, taking the whole of the dagger and half of your fist. <laughs> at, least it's a, at least it is a smaller hole. The dagger pierces the bottom half of the abdomen, and the, all of the gunk and venom uh, just pours straight out again. <laughs> <laughs> Slide of hand with the <laughs> flask. Because if he if he's got a flask and I've got a flask, we're, we're both scrambling. So can I also do? You can have a go. Yeah. yeah go on, then. That goes back. 
that's the main one though, doesn't it? Uh, new, so new, new dice. <laughs> new dice. The <laughs> same dice the hess. Skills. Uh, it's close to the bottom, so that's yeah. not going to be very good. Uh, four. Uh, mine would be a 13. All right, you manage to get half a flask of this stuff. You just get it all over your hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful and makes you and it's making your hands sting a bit. Itch. At this point, I uh, I sort of drop 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 your vial back in there and start to wipe my hands on the grass quite frantically. As I... stop playing with your what? We can't help us carry this stuff. Is there any indication of? Where this stuff is going, where it's been, who's so, it was. Take a look at it. There's the remains of a wagon here. Mm-hmm. Um, clearly hitched a horse, no sign of a horse. No rider. Just goods. Is the wagon in, in good nick? Not in serviceable use now. After One of the wheels is off. At the very start, people sharing those drink over here and if and seeing apples and everything. There's possibly cider in that. Apple. Just, just rummage I'll through. Jump out and check it. See what there is inside inside it all. all right. <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 oh, he hears it. Well, he, 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 he heard it. He heard it. He all right, right it. there. So I'll shout to the guys. Have a look what you got. I'm going to keep an eye out for any more wasps and stuff that are buzzing around. Just a little bit. I've got still a horse. I'm still got mustard, mustard, custard, <laughs> mustard, custard, mustard, custard bastard. bastard. Uh, oh, perception 14. All right, so you kind of keep an eye on this guy. Though. Who is searching the wagon? Right. At this point, I'm walking. You, 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 walk guys are, to, uh, you guys are in wasp. Uh, wiping ourselves off. <laughs> <laughs> just, just. Uh, All right. And a nine on the horse. <laughs> you got a barrel of apples, uh, most of which look fine, and the ones that tip on the floor bad. You got three sacks of flour. That's super hard to have uh, you've got um, a sack with cauliflowers in it, a sack of carrots, a small crate with six bottles of cider in it. Yes! <laughs> I wonder who's on that first. Straight away, he's going to go grab it, and anyone tries to get near it, he's just like, just like okay. <laughs> Go uh, slowly on those jack. <laughs> <laughs> um, how many balls are you grabbing? <laughs> I'm taking whole crates of <laughs> all six. I'm gonna jump off. I'm gonna grab a carrot out the sack and feed it to mustard. Okay. Or custard. Okay. Musty. Musty. Oh, six balls. Hopefully, it gives me a. Give me a hard time. Yes, you feel might you might be uh, more advantageous uh, <laughs> than you. Okay, you calm, uh, musty calms down a little bit. The smell of the wagon as well, it stinks in there, so I'm going to top the, take the smell off as well. I'm going to help you with that first situation. <laughs> Wipe it down, basically. So you spend a little bit of time gathering up these goods, cleaning the wagon from the smell of that you put on it and Jack. And, uh, Mostly Jack. Uh, the two of you managed to gather some of this wasp venom. Uh, a couple of the apples on the floor, are they okay? Are they. <coughs> so as we walked up, they were sprawled on the floor. Yeah, some of them are okay. Some of them have clearly been uh, bitten into, or a couple of the ones that are okay, I guess, pick them up and put them just into my pack, away from, away from everyone else. Well, yeah, as, I, as I walk up. All right. So, yeah, you get a couple of apples to put in your uh, in pack. Who's on the back of the car? I just, oh, I, I, I just fed the horse and jumped on. What was it? Just really see me with this crate, just push it on it, <laughs> just like push it past you and just give you this look, like you know, like a, a dog with <laughs> a bone, like a. Are you happy now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just jumping on back of the horse, just keeping hold of um, Musty. Musty. Start <laughs> loading all of this, the rest of the stuff into the car. All right, you, you gain, uh, you, you uh, get all of the goods and load it up onto your own cart. I, I would just like to. I, I don't know if it, it, it will it will help at all, but I've um, done a lot of studying and I have I have the tools, I have, I have some capability. I might be able to make those apples into some cider. With, 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 a, bit of, with, a, bit, with a bit of time, of course. I, mean, yeah, I couldn't do it. I couldn't. I couldn't I, no, I'm sorry, I don't understand that elvish word you just said. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm actually. I'm just enjoying <laughs> that first taste of a side, just. Bro. Uh, 
I'll, I'll lead you onto the top and I'll, and I'll show you to the one corner. It's like the crucifix on a vampire, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. The word clean is just like. Okay. Should we uh, take a few a few minutes here just to uh, get the wagons on, have a bit of a break, or uh, or get away from where these wasps are? Because there's a couple of wasps, and there's maybe more. So I, think I think we, we should hurry up and move. Get this stuff back to town, pretty. Sharpish. Well, that's true, but we've come out here to How far was the tower away right now? Us um, the, the tower was uh, about a mile away from where you are now. Oh, so we don't want to get there and back. No. Did we do run the risk? Back at the end of the day. It was an hour. Was it? An hour. A mile away. A mile away. Oh, right. we, we do run the risk if, if we leave and, and come back. There, there may be more. We did set out to do, to do the... To, we did set out to, to, to finish the and sort out the creature with. Actually, I apologise. It was about three miles. You travelled through the hills first, and you were getting towards the river. Three miles, right? I mean, sort of travelling on wagon. That's actually decent. Yeah. Three. Move on. What time of day is it? We're looking at now. Oh, it's uh, not even midday yet. Not midday. Yeah. I don't think we should be travelling with all of this stuff with us. The smell of the apples and. Will be attracting more of those things if they are here. Better off setting fire to the what's left of this wagon. Maybe taking the wheels. Then heading back to town. It's been two days already. Has it been two days? It has been. Yeah, it's been a couple of days since the incident. So another few hours. I don't think will make much of a difference. It's possibly maybe best to. Uh possibly have one or two stay back to make sure nothing returns. I'm more than happy to stay here myself. I, I, I can, I can, I can stay. We could practice on the other wasp for the <laughs> venom sacs. That's true, we can. If you don't mind me, I, I can borrow you. You can have your dagger back when you're my friend. In that case, I say you How stay How do you get there and back with the horse? You reckon? Um, to, to get, get there and back, back the hills are the tricky back. bit. Yeah. You yeah. think um, maybe it could be done in a couple of hours? So we could be back by midday? Mm -hmm. We could, we'll stay here, we'll clean up this mess. Uh, you go back and uh, deliver these supplies. If you right. wanted to leave a cauliflower with us and a couple of the carrots, we could do some stew that should be ready by the time you guys come back. Vegetable stew, sounds like a good idea. So I'll take must, Musty back with that. Uh, who wants to stay? Who wants to go? We're already staying. Staying, staying. I'll come with you, my friend. In the wagon. Stonewall. Uh, you don't suppose Jack's going to leave this wagon? Yeah. Not with that alcohol on board. No. And I don't think you'd want to part with it either. The problem is getting him to come back again. Well, if we if we keep the alcohol on the wagon, we don't have to admit the alcohol. Mm. If we hide that, we can just give the food and keep the alcohol. I have an idea. Uh, now take three bottles of cider. And I'm walking away. In full perfume. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was trying to console Jack, there's loads of more alcohol in the wagon. It's only got to be fine. We can get them later. Sorry, Jack. <laughs> 15. <laughs> You just. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll listen to you. Yeah, so much happened with alcohol. It's, it's on. I feel like Dagger came and took those balls. Each the one was like a fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you will get these back when you're done. Right. Well, I'll stay here and take <laughs> a small rest <laughs> then. Yeah, I think that might be a good idea, Mr. Stone. Well, you're looking a little bit sore. Mm. I think that blood <clears> on <throat> the back of your head looks like it might hurt as well. If you could gather yeah. some. Some of the, the, the wood, then we can get that fire going and start on the street. We'll take a lie on the, uh, these wasps, oh. give them a little bit now. I'll lift up the wire and just smash one of the wooden wheels, cartwheels. Okay. There's your wood. <laughs> I'm going for a lie down. <laughs> I'm going to spin the cart around and start walking back, and I'm going back and so I'm sure when Dagger kicked you in the back of the head, it probably quite soon <laughs> might be to lie down, and then just saunter off in the distance, chuckling to myself. And there you <laughs> Take care of Misty. 
Oh! Well, I'm on the side of <laughs> You've nicked three, there's two left on that. Horses had about eight names, so. It's <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so some, of the, some of the path you head off. Split the party. <laughs> well, uh, the remainder stay here. So, no, me, no, me, no, me no, Jack, no, and. Uh, no, 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 George, Jack, you stay there. I'm you, staying there, yeah. The rest of it's all in the back of the wagon. There's, there's a only crate t- of it. No, the, the crate had six in it. Yeah. I took three. Took three. three. So I've got return. one, so there's only two in there. Only two in there. So I've stayed where the majority of the alcohol is. No, no, no. 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 Wrong character. No, no, no. What? I took these so you would return. I say, he's with you. No. The other two that's on the back. I just secrete into my jacket, I'm thinking, it's going to be more handy later. No. I'm not, not going to admit to them. <laughs> All right, so you having taken them off, Jack gets off the wagon. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he goes with it. I put two of them back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, mm. I'm just give, I'm already, I'm already going. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, off to... I don't even hear it about... Running off the arm. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, come on, I'll, I'll, let, I'll like, let you sit up front with me this time. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's like, have you ever been like kicking a ball around a dog in, the, in like the dog just? It's like that. <laughs> it's, just, it's Jack Maps, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> One side of. Four sides. You got it. Okay. So, um, and you said about you make fire and you're going to do a stew with some of the stuff. Yep, yes. While trying to extract from the last remaining wasp that's there. I'm going to do the last one, get you short rest. Stone <laughs> <laughs> so Hall's going for a little bit of a lie down. Mm. Well, we're joining you after we're smashing the hell out of the wheel. Okay, you smash up some of the wood. So, I'm on the front of the cart with you. No, oh, I am. Oh. <laughs> so, I'm going to cuddle with Mr. Stone. No, 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 I'm there. Oh. You haven't a cuddle with Mr. Stone. You've been drinking it. Already. He, he, was, he, he has, yeah. He was a cuddle buddy. <laughs> I'm, I just imagine just pointing out all over a recent She's I'm married. It's not house. appropriate. <laughs> she was married. She's after she, number seven. She was. I'm going to break it to number six first. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Stone, will you settle down to have a bit of a rest after that ordeal? Uh, we're going to lie down. Just next to the fire, you want to go up against the tree trunk, or they are making busy now with poising the, the thorax and. I think we're over sort of in that area. That's what last okay, well, yeah, that's <coughs> one sort of yeah, I'll, put, I'll put one of those out there again, so we can have uh, the two of you around the back of it. Three flour, one carrot, one cauliflower, <coughs> a barrel, a barrel of apples, three sacks of flour, <coughs> one sack of cauliflowers, one sack of carrots. Minus a couple that we kept for the stew. No, no, no. There's still yeah, an And no alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Can I make a general look over the area to see if there's tracks? So we'll go for a rest immediately for potential danger. Well, just looking for the best place to lie down. It's a nine. It's a nine. It's a nine. Well, uh, <coughs> the ground's quite hard packed here. Back you again. Don't make out meat tracks. There's some signs of horseshoes going in every direction. Uh, in the dirt here, you can see some horse tracks going off in this direction. <coughs> no sign of any human dwarfish or elvish footprints going off the side of the road around here, though, aside from the ones you've recently made yourself. <coughs> I'll, if this is a nice looking tree, I'll go sit under it and take my rest. You take your rest under there. Have we, uh, we, uh, we start to set fire to this? Is that what we've done or is that just a plan? Um, no, I think we've loaded the provisions onto the wagon. Yeah, uh, the remaining the, wood. The, the, the remaining wood. Um, we'll, what, we'll finish with the wasps and then we'll get Yeah, take it. <coughs> There'd yeah. be things like broken crates and barrels. Yeah, there's yeah. plenty of wood. I think yeah. Mrs. Yeah. Stonewall's contribution was smashing the wheel up then she went yeah. into her nap. Yeah. You took all of the goods, <laughs> but there was plenty of wagon left if you want. Not fire, fire yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We would do that after the wasp. Yeah, I'm going to say it's an, it's it's an unattended fire, fire at the moment in a woodland area. It's hazardous. All right, so the remaining wasps. Please don't fuck as well. I've changed okay. the <laughs> I've changed yeah. the <laughs> Sort of gets around the wasp, Mason arms check. round, lifts up the no, back. Skulls, not skills. Oh, here we go. Dagger. 
Oh, have, you got the vial, have you got the vials ready in case we yes. have any more? Okay, right. Hey! Do I take the highest? The highest? highest? 12, but it's at 16. 16. 16. So you gently get the knife in and then just pull it along to the edge of the thing. And then you just start get, gently get this drip, drip of the venom. Perfect. How many vials have you got? We could get a bit of this. Uh, I have. Uh, well, I gave you my hip flask. That's it. <laughs> I lost the hip flask in the uh, in, in the other in the other wasp. Well, this one was half full. I believe. Let's fill it up to the top. Yeah, so that's all we need. So I get the hip flask and continue to. Okay. Fill it. <laughs> There's a big pool of it on the ground that's accumulating now while you were discussing what to do. So you you got the hip flask. Got it underneath again. Just gently fills up. We're coming out in this in a more refined form. You can easily load up the flask entirely with the one thing. At that point, I, after that gets full, whip out, pull out. I think whip out was the wrong. Uh, the, the, pull out mine and, and okay. continue to get the rest. Okay, you forget to fill up yours as well. You also notice at this stage that your hands have got red and speckly from where you got the venom on your hands from the previous one. Maybe you take rest. I will start that food. Oh, okay. That, thank you. Thank you. Um, is there any body of water around? No. None? No. Okay, so I head over and join uh, Mrs. Stonewall near the tree and lean up against it and start to, with uh, rags and things, Try and wipe off what I can of the, the venom. Trying to get the remains of this off. Stings. But you do your best. In that case, I guess it's my job to firewood get the stew going. Alright. You two is. Okay, so you go over, flint and steel. You uh, get some kindling in there, get a fire going. It uh, burns away, <clears throat> and you work on getting greens together. And. Uh, for this moment, sat here on a, not warm, but uh, just being outdoors after being cramped up in the caves, it's, it's almost pleasant. And you look at your fire with just a little bit of smoke coming off it and think about the meal to come. Yeah, yeah. a long time. Uh, I wonder where that idea came from. <laughs> the rest of the group make their way back to the tower. You have no issues getting back. Um, <clears throat> rest along the way. I mean, I'll if you are, yeah. if you are not doing anything, yeah, you just have the back right in the hall, right then the you can take a short so rest. You can get hit I'm short in rest. the back without the spoon, buddy. So you see that? Oh, I'm not come back yet. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're back, you plan to unload the. Yeah. So we avoid um, the guy with the, the stuff. Yeah. So uh, and I make my way to the Helvetians, uh, and I say to them, we have uh, some flour. Um, some when carrot short rest, a barrel of apples, apples and, and some a uh, cauliflower, barrel, a sack of cauliflower oh, that we, we, we found on the road. Um, we had to liberate some wasps, so um, we had it was a very dairy, there was wasps everywhere, there was lots of them around. We had to fight our friends to wounds on there, so we went out of our way for you here. If we could be rewarded in some way for bringing all this food. This is great work. What's the name of your group? Uh, the Mrs. Stonewall Adventuring Party. Mrs. Stonewall Adventuring Party. Yeah, limited. Put up to trial. Going to say Stonewall's voice. <laughs> <laughs> and he start. He's got a stylus, and he starts putting it onto this uh, tablet. He does. <laughs> party limited. How are you limited? Uh, we're limited in the amount of people in our party. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to pass this on to Roland. Okay. He will assess the goods and we will find your group you are obviously stationed with him and uh, an appropriate reward will be delivered. Okay, and Roland is? Um, he's quartermaster. He's quartermaster. I remember I was looking for this quartermaster. It wasn't the guy that was at the store opposite the, uh, the bric a brac store. Oh no, that man's insane. <laughs> yeah, I need to find that guy. Uh, no, uh, okay, yeah, no, can I have an invoice for this? No, I don't trust you. You're looking uh, up 
signing and respect of all Helvetian, but you can never be too careful. I need it for our, our records for the limited company. Oh, well, that's, that's unusual. I've never heard of anything like that before. Yeah. It's a known thing. Could you uh, maybe put in some, an al some alcohol in there as well? In the raw? Well, I don't get to decide that. It's down to the road. Just one bottle of wine. Which, which bit of what I just said wasn't clear? <laughs> <laughs> it's not, I don't get to decide that. Oh, hang on, yes, I do. It's, uh, I, I don't get to decide it's, that. I'm it's sorry. Fine. Yeah. Ignore him, he's, he's stupid. I mean, it's some money, just buy some <laughs> alcohol with it. Is there alcohol to buy around here? Well, uh, there's a good point. There didn't seem to be very much. We have some wine, but even we are on double water ration on that. We're having to cut it right down in potency. Damn it. Sorry, my friend. Okay, I'll take my invoice. Uh, oh, yeah, just scoot it out the contents. Oh, okay, thank you very much. Oh, uh, no, I try and go, sorry, my friend, and Jack's kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just passed out, so. Uh, Cradling the one bottle of outside of his bottle. And I, I thank him, I say, oh, speak to Ronald when we come back. So it's I'm sure, uh, yeah, he'll he'll contact the uh, Mrs. Stonewall Adventuring Party Limited. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, or by, by, by nightfall or tomorrow morning at the latest. Okay, a bit more professional. <laughs> long, long title names are always better to have. <laughs> um, um, wheel him, wheel around uh, Poppy, and we'll <laughs> head <back. laughs> All right, so... This all's going to have a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no one can speak with animals. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> Who are we all? Came across a male voice, obviously. It only had female names. <laughs> Bastard is a female name. It's going to be bitch or. <laughs> uh, and then. So, uh, what's the general nature of time? <laughs> we wheel it around, I uh, got my invoice, and we'll head back. All right. So your fire is going quite well in the clearing. You've got your uh, pot <laughs> on it. Uh, your ingredients in there, and it's buttering away. Um, smoke's going up into the sky. Mr. Stonewall, have, have a bit of shatai, or are you just resting? Just a short rest. Just a short rest. <laughs> just a mechanical short rest. <laughs> a mechanical short rest. <laughs> Eyes are open. I'm actually watching. Thousand yards there. I'm watching Scuttle. Okay. Just, uh, just checking next to just rubbing his hands. Sat, sat next to you and got a cloth out and far too fastidious for a husband that one. <laughs> I've got my book in between my legs as well, contemplating <laughs> over the notes of the two failed yeah, wasps well, and, the, uh, wasp and the and the one successful. Mumbling as I as, as I go, un completely unaware that you're sat there observing. Such a check from Dagger, please. Yeah, absolutely. So get to use some hit dice. Yes. Uh, Perception would be in 12. Okay. You hear a, a rustle of branches. Sound. You see nothing from where you're currently looking. But there now. Is this a is this a familiar croaking or something? Do you think? It's a <laughs> <laughs> well, we're out here to do a job. Did you hear the noise too? <laughs> I mean, we're out here to do a job. I mean, it's that thing then. <laughs> yeah. You look over your shoulder. Do. Let's please. And see the dragon. Oh. <gasps> That you saw in the sky earlier, attracted by the smoke. Oh, <laughs> shit. Having both lit some smoke earlier to distract the wasps and now have a full fire going. The, um. No. The wide open. Are you two paying attention? That's my question. <laughs> because what you. Whether you're paying attention is what. So I wasn't paying attention until the huge crash, which. Uh, you didn't hear the initial crash. Um, the um, dagger heard that. You were doing your hands. Okay. The stone wall was looking Completely at Completely oblivious. But you will have heard the Rrr! sound. Um, the dagger has looked over it. This thing has landed. It's only got back legs. Uh, its uh, front arms are built into its wings and it curls those round to put them on the ground. Uh, looking directly at the smoke and you. 
<laughs> I've closed my book at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Just gingerly closing the book, trying not to make too much of a noise, and um, what can I be described as bum shuffling just to, to try <laughs> the rant at this side of the street. <laughs> 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 Quite frankly, I don't blame her. Well, also, leaving Mrs. Stonewall, who was, I assume, looking at the why no? Okay. I will. Is it looking in a certain direction? Oh, obviously, <laughs> on the fire, the obviously fire. at me. At obviously you. at me. Yeah. But is it looking at any aspect of me? Um, it seems to have been drawn to. No, not any area of you particularly. It's a sort of mix between you and the fire that you've got. I will. Just my intelligence, real quick. Oh, what's my? Oh, I'm on the air. I will unclip the. Uh, the scabbard and my great sword falls around. Okay. And I, I, I just sort of kick it away. I will opposite direction. Alright. And I'm going to sit down cross like. Okay. This thing lifts up its wings, extends them out to its full length. It's probably uh, 30, 40 feet across when it gets its wings extended. Extends its foot, its neck out, and opens its uh, mouth to let out a cry into the air. Holds its position for a moment, then comes back down. <laughs> then it will waddle forward 20 feet towards the fire. Mrs. Stonewall, this thing fully comes into view now from uh, in the bushes. You see it just. Moving directly on towards Dagger. Your I'll eyes just go wide. I'll just look towards you know, just, just side on just Warhammer and Shield in hand. Okay. Uh Draconic. Are you lost? Okay. The cart winds its way through the hills. Uh, you just about make it to the road, and uh, all looks clear so far. Scan the skies, no sign of that dragon. You turn the cart <laughs> westwards and make on along the road. You're probably another mile till you get to the rest of the group. But uh, everything's all quiet, so it should be fine. No dragon, we've been quite lucky here. Yeah? <laughs> um, all right. This thing will move right up to you now, keeping its head down low. Uh, whole neck curled over, again using its wings to move itself forward, looking quite ungainly and clumsy on the ground. Completely different from how it was in the sky. Gets right up close to you. I'm quite comic bookly, uh, looking round, peering round the, uh, the tree. Unsuccessfully, I might add. Um, <coughs> Just trying to find and see what's happening. I'm okay. just gonna toothless and hiccup, put my hand up, try and stroke it. Okay. Oh. You hold your hand up. Make an animal handling check. Future man here. It's a wonderful advice. Cool. Explain the bugbear, that's what I'm about to do. <laughs> <laughs> a nine. You put your hand up, it moves its head towards you, your hand just reaching towards its nose, it gently moves its hand, head forward, opens its mouth wide yeah. and sinks straight onto your hand. <laughs> so there's 17 to hit you. Well. Okay, so... <laughs> that is 14 points of piercing damage. Okay. Okay, and release, and I will take an initiative roll now from just the three of you. Is that just the. That's. Uh, that's not. <laughs> and if you ever learn one thing about tonight, never split the party. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 14. Gold. 14. And I, I would have a higher so. 14 
14, Mr. Devil. 13. 13. So, it was a surprise round when I did the bite there. Um, if I get the highest initiative, that means I get to go again immediately. Oh dear. Do you, do you need us to roll? We'll be a No, you're going to be no. a distance away. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be. This combat it's combat over by then. <laughs> yeah. All right. So drawing its head back, it's going to bite you again. Ten. Yes. So it comes back, bites down hard. Um, you step to the side, and the mouth on the ground, spraying up dirt. It does get more than one attack though. Imagine so. It goes to stinger. It's going to be the stinger. Yeah. Please stop swinging. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he was going to do it. He's just, he, he's just working. 12 to hit the stinger. Next. Okay, so the, and then the stinger curls around in the ground as well. Dagger. This is what happens when I... You tried this is last time. Yes! <laughs> this is what happens when I try a different character arm. Nothing <laughs> fucking goes to plan. <laughs> That said, there is a difference between being a pacifist and being harmless. I like the way you said character R now, because you've only got one. I said R! <laughs> <laughs> I said R! <laughs> Come on then, Dagger, what are you going to do? I don't know! <laughs> All right. Quick, decide! Ah! Ah! Leg it that way. Leg it that way. <laughs> yeah, they're ever miles ago. Uh, <laughs> do you know how far that is in the wagon? You've got longer legs than I. All you can hear over the hill is. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Go this way. I'm you do move in hers. <laughs> I'm grabbing my sword. <sighs> I don't like hurting animals, You could Monty Python. You, you scoop up your sword, quickly pull it out of the scabbard. <gasps> Rage and... Yeah, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> uh, some assistance is required. Brackler. No, because it'll fucking hurt. I'm uh, her. I mean, you're in crisis, but Archie's just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even in combat! <laughs> I'm fucking reckless. Uh, oh, level oh. one, level two, and I'm talking to a wide in the nest. Yeah. Uh, what do you get? That is a 22 character one. No, that's gonna hit. Good! Not level ones. Yes, yeah, I was gonna uh, say that's a total of uh, six. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Fifteen damage. Fifteen damage. You swing the sword straight into the neck of it. Rip my goddamn pen. There it is. Get a fight before it's down where there's now. Like I said, there is a difference between being pacifist and being completely harmless. Thirteen damage. Uh, that's how much I'm taking. Or one and no, half. is that what you've done? Uh, 15. 15. 15 damage. 13 plus 2 for oh. Yeah. So you slash the thing. My top tip is right there. Are you done? Ah, uh, it's done nice bit. Scuttle. It's currently having a moral dilemma. So I'm fucking The The nervousness, social awkwardness in him feels like he's found a, f- a friend in, in all the help that, that he's, he's gotten from Dagger. Easy come, easy go. But at the same time, he's <laughs> <laughs> a fucking wyvern in the end of the road. And, um, and uh, I'm just a, dwar- a mountain dwarf that... So Fresh I'm, out the mountain. I, yes, <laughs> quite, quite literally. So I wanted to see whether or not I could um, sort of stealth and... You want to try and hide? Yeah. Okay, make a roll please. 17 is it? Minus, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it'll be useful. Skills. Yeah, it's near the bottom. Minus 4, so 6. Yeah, disadvantage. Yeah, disadvantage as well, because you're in armor. So, yeah, so roll to roll, roll again. Roll no, yeah. take the lowest. 13. So, 13, yeah. Okay, so you pull yourself fully behind the tree. <laughs> yes. And hide. So, it's in the gut. <laughs> <laughs> hey, remember that? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Of which I would have oh, to. Oh, oh yeah, let me just. Yeah, but, uh... Are you still going to put that? It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so you oh, no. move behind the tree. That is scuttle done. The, the needle is so far away. This is Stonewall. <laughs> what do you got, Mr. Stonewall? Shadow, what square are you in? 
Oh, that one out, and then the other one hit. How far? You, have, you, you can move through a friendly Each square represents five feet. Five feet. Five feet. Five feet. Walking speed is how far I can... Yes, yeah, so 25 feet I imagine of you. So five squares. 25. As I rush past Dagger, I'll shout. Yeah. Use the fire! Slide under the wing to get around the back of it. Yeah. Not quite in position to get advantage of them. Yeah. Whispering. Uh, a smite, a, a spell of searing into the Warhammer, second level. Good. Let's go for it. Say sixty. Is it? Fifteen points of damage. Fifteen points of damage. All right. No, that's the. It's nine from the warhammer and then two d six from the series. So All right, you come around the back. Slam the warhammer into the hindquarters of this Riven. Oh, hang on. He needs to make a con saving throw, please. Con saving throw. Oh. Natural one. <laughs> he explodes. What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, I spat Malode a little too early there. You should have done it at the start of your turn, which I suppose it is the start of your turn because I've finished It's going to be, yeah. Um, so you take an extra d6 points of fire damage. Okay. What? <laughs> it all counts. We've done 31 points of damage to this one. He's on fire. Okay. He's actually on fire. He's on fire. So you slam the warhammer into him in the back of him. Just white hot metal from the warhammer. Yeah. Burns with holy fire. And then it's his turn. And I've shouted to Dagger to use the fire as well. All right. He's going to bite. The fire that he made. <laughs> the that's that's on fire. Like that's our campfire at the moment. That's true. <laughs> Just like, pick it up and chuck it out. Dagger, he bites down at you, um, getting a fifteen to hit you. All right. Ah, uh, that is a one and a three for eight points of damage. Uh, what type of damage? It is piercing damage. And then, uh, with the attack from the rear, it lashes out with a stinger at the back of his body, calling it up like a serpent, and then slamming it down towards Mrs. Stonewall. Raising the shields. Shields up! Shields up. Um, that is a 13 plus 7 for 20. Straight through the shield. It's a 20, yeah? Yeah. Okay, when you shield up, you see the stinger burst through the shield, that close to your face, and then pulls out again. Oh, need some new, new trousers. <laughs> Dagger, you're up. Good. Uh... <laughs> real, real, real quick, I want to see, like, I'm on the smallest, so I want to see if I actually understand you. Mm, no. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to use the closest thing I have to fire, uh, and... Build a spire. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to use my breath weapon. Okay. Uh, probably going to succeed, but deck save anyway. <clears throat> okay. Um, I have no dex bonus, and that's a 10. Chaos. A total of 9 acid. 9 acid. Okay. <laughs> yeah, spray acid up the front of it, <laughs> along the neck. It blackens and sizzles. <laughs> Smoke comes off the front of it. Anything else? Uh, Mrs. Mrs. Skirtle, we could really use your help. I'm going into the line character here, yeah. and that's me. Okay. <coughs> Skirtle. <laughs> Karen behind. His gut has been uh, sucked in at this point, at which it's slumped. He's going, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> going over, repeating, going, I can't do this, I can't do this. <laughs> and then he actually just He does manage to conjure up some, and um, if you could. Uh, Snap shut your book, book the, the big, big brave dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> and quite literally, if you could imagine that sort of a rather short, plump uh, man run round the corner, dwarf run round the corner, and uh, <laughs> at full pelt go straight across. Um, shouting, I'm coming! <laughs> at the same time. And then I'm going to run up and uh, lay on hands. Alright. As you get this close, you see well. how tall this thing is towering. <laughs> at which point, terrifying. At which point the inner monologue is just screaming, I can't do this anymore! <laughs> Nevertheless, he still persists. How much lay on hands? <laughs> um, you can choose. Five. We'll right. go for the full. Four, five. Four, one. This is a lot. Yeah. This is a lot more intimidating now. Yeah. <laughs> on that first strike, because you minus the damage, didn't you, on that piercing one? Did you minus it from the first strike that you got bit? Uh, no, well? I, uh, mm. rage half the damage. Oh, so. this it was a rage as well. Yeah, he was a rage. He was shitting. Yeah. <laughs> I was. I want to make a friend. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't do it. You can't be angry. I make a friend. Yeah, so, no. Okay, so that's scuttle done. Yeah. That is scuttle done. You move. You're taking your action. We are done. It's Mrs. Stonewall. Stonewall. That's literally all I can get a goal for here. That's me, though. You can find it here. As a reminder, as well, that's the other one down there. Yes. Uh, if you do a two handed battle axe, that's the damage. So, oh, so it's a one handed, two handed. Oh, okay. You really just got your I think I will carry on. Wait, so well, you do have a shield, so where's the shield? Uh, so the shield is probably why you're. Yeah. Well, this isn't eight yeah, okay. I will go for a magic that's weapon. Bless. Uh, magic weapon thing on my weapon. Okay. Magic weapon on my thing on my weapon. Using all the technical terms tonight. <laughs> I'm casting magical weapon. Okay. Cot. That was a six. It's a, a failed to hit. What do you get to? Um, Eleven plus one. It's just a mess. Like, just a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. That's you done. That's me done. If you, if you remember to move one step to the side as well. Oh, oh bugger. Is it just behind? You've got to get I will allow you to do it with advantage. Because it's if you want to, yeah. You've got to be like opposite. Oh, that's just like... <laughs> Just look at that. That's just like what? The dope's got. So that'll be a four. Yeah. So it's worse. You move to get advantage, and it's worse than it was before. That's the shape of it. Okay. This thing is going to take a bite. And con save first, please. Con save. And that is a sixteen. Fire goes out. Okay. Okay, so it moves around again, extending its wings, and it's going to take a bite on Dagger again. Uh, that is a 16 to hit you. Well hit. Um, four, 11 points of damage. Reduced to six. Okay. Um, and it will, again, um, split in the attacks now, focusing the head on you and a stinger on you. So this, this comes, calls up like a snake and <laughs> down. Shields up. Shields up. That is a 23 to hit. Yeah, and 19 to hit. Okay. Uh, that is 9 points of piercing damage. Can't help. Probably does have a lot of HP left. We're not going to hear any of this Oh, you're a good distance away. It's oh. nice, nice. Killing Open this. road. <laughs> so we don't even have the soundtrack yet. In the distance. No. <laughs> Six seconds. We're, We're a mile away. away. We'll be hearing it. Na 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 na. We'll be hearing it. Nino, yeah. Nino. It's, so it is a Constitution saving throw, and this is a poison attack. Ooh. You get half as well, though, because you're. Yeah, I do. Uh, it's 14. 14. Yeah. Okay. You can take the full damage from this. Yeah. You need a fifteen. Did 
Do you want to use my dice? You'll walk it like five. <laughs> So, uh, Matt is failing me. There you go. I'm going to fight this thing either way, so. <laughs> I mean, the I fact that I tried to pass side was probably our best option. Okay. It is 21 points of poison damage. Uh, reduced to 11. Did you remember? On 76, that was. <laughs> yeah, we were going to fight this thing either way. You could have come back to camp with me in the wagon. <laughs> yeah, we don't expect a fucking dragon. Oh. Well, on the plus side, Mrs. Stone will bite the dust. We don't have to finish the mission. Though. All right. No, it's not that. that is the wyvern. <laughs> the Mrs. Stone Done. Wall. It is daggers go. Oh, you man. see the stinger just blast again through Mrs. Stonewall's shield, leaving a big open thing, getting straight into her neck. A manly cry escapes her lips. <laughs> 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 Really to to well. it's the Gunther Weigel brand. <laughs> <laughs> now it's uh, <laughs> Brand's Wanderers. Mrs. Yeah. Stonewall's memorial affection. <laughs> <laughs> Even more limited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dagger, I, I, come on. I, I gotta fucking hit it. Thank come on, Dagger. That's fine. It's a 17. That's a hit. Good. <laughs> Big balls, big big. That's good! Ooh, yay. Uh, so that's 11 plus 3, 11, which is 14, 16 total. 16 total, that's great! Some slashing. <laughs> okay. <You're> halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, <laughs> swinging out with this sword, uh, both hands screaming, spittle running down your mouth, a little bit of acid left from where you breath, uh, breathe fire on it. Um, you slash into it again, and are you done? Yeah. Scuttle! Come on, you dramatic music for your turn. The little dwarf that could. <laughs> yes. The angel of the <laughs> Thank you, XP. Comes round to the side. Oh, yeah, it's going to be beautiful. <laughs> On here. In an C attempt. The wing is up above you, just blotting out the sun with the sheer size of this levery. Fight in the shade. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and he doesn't get out much, so the shade is, you know, he has a very bad skin complexion. And then, um, especially his hands. <laughs> Yeah. With an axe in hand, a okay. shield in the other, he runs at the tail in okay. an attempt to, to chop at its butt. Not that there's a running theme with what Scuttle has. <laughs> Does seem obsessed with the butt? <laughs> no, no, this whole party is obsessed with butts. <laughs> so, as you run under it, so the wind is extending massively up, its chest is. <gasps> the whole size of it, it's huge as it towers down over Dagger. Both of your um, all allies look like they're uh, staggering on their last legs. Do it! Yeah, I feel Do like, it! I feel like I probably <laughs> should have ran. It would have caught up to my Oh! No. Ah! <laughs> Spring the axe down! <laughs> you slam it into the dirt next to the tail. <laughs> and as you do that, you see this <laughs> head twirl <laughs> around <laughs> to the <laughs> I mean, at least you aren't going to have to tell you to see if that's going to have this look. I've got an awesome thing for you. Action to <laughs> <laughs> <That also> helps. <laughs> but unfortunately, you spend your action now attacking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um, so, are you done, Scuffle? And I mean in, that in every sense. I think in more <laughs> ways than one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Scuttle. This is Stonewall. The stinger pulls out your shield, nearly yanking it from your grasp. You see Scuttle run up and slam the axe desperately, pale in the face, <laughs> sweat running down his head. What do you want to do? Any more of those magics? I'm save him, I think. What's the afterlife? <laughs> There's a chance. Uh, I forgot my concentration check. I feel like I was injured. Oh, that's calm. The magic weapon is not on. There are good dice available for Southland Stairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I might, because I don't see the <laughs> I'm going to uh, raise the warhammer. <laughs> <laughs> Drop a shield. Okay. And put it in both hands. Okay. Dropping your only bit of defense, you grab the warhammer with both hands. <laughs> oh my god! What did you get? Did you beat two? <laughs> I did, but it's not my You're so 11. Good. 11 is not enough. 
We're waiting for the cavalry to come. <laughs> now nah, we're just going to come and finish it off and then take all the glory. Uh, hey, words not going to help. So I'm gonna <laughs> oh, the, oh, oh, sorry, that's just. <laughs> nah, it's fine. But I'm, the first thing I'm doing if we get there in time is I'm running for the out. Oh, what? You've, got, <laughs> you've got the side on you. <laughs> Jack remembered. Ah, these moments of quiet desperation. A second level healing word. Oh. He's full. I, I'm, fu- I'm, I'm maxed out. All 12. That was it. What did you got? Yeah, which could easily be oh, gone. Dagger. One. <laughs> seven I'm points. Seven points. points back to dagger. So I just got last That's basically hour, so. 14. <laughs> yeah. We're about three quarters of a mile away, so yeah. don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Top of the round. It's his go. No longer on fire. Um, <laughs> you have dealt a good amount of damage on it. S- spell slashes are open across the neck and an acid burn and uh, burns all at the back. Um, it looks round towards... Scuttle. Um, Scuttle. I could, but I know it's game. I'm classical. I rolled an 11. Oh. Plus 7. Oh. Does that mean it hits or does that yeah, mean it hits? It's going to hit you. It has to be As long as it's I'll less than 12, I'll let you into Well, let's find out. <laughs> so, it's 2d6 plus 4 damage. What's that, guys? 14 damage. 14 oh. damage. You're unconscious. I am, yeah. So you slam your axe down the floor, its head r- turns around and ducks down towards you, whole mouth engulfing the top part of Scuttle. The teeth pierce through your armour into your abdomen and it opens and you see Scuttle drop to the ground. It comes up again. <clears throat> Stinger attack on Mrs. Stonewall. That's an 11 plus 7 for 18. That's a hit. You drop your shield. You drop the shield. No. Okay, it's seven points of piercing damage. I think that's enough. Yep. Yeah. You, you are we're, we're, down. We're, we're going to need therapy after this. Um, <laughs> you are still going to have to make a constitution saving throw because you're going to take the poison damage this round. Passed. I'm assuming. Oh, Passed. 20. So we'll see what you get. Uh, how much damage it was. I feel, I'm pretty sure you will reduce it to less than your maximum hit points. That's only a you kill it now. All right, it's 33 points of damage, which you halve because you pass it, which and then you half halve because you're a uh, dwarf. Okay, but you are down. And it flaps its wings and it will take to the air. You can take your opportunity attack as it goes up. You both can. Bring it down! I'm down. Oh yeah, I was well and truly. Big dice. I'm safe behind a tree. Fine. It is an 18. Okay, it's a hit. No damage. Again, fine. That's, that's 9 plus 3, 12 plus. That's 15 total. So 15 total. Alright. So it <laughs> takes the sky and starts flying away. How far? How far? It's going to fly 80 feet. Okay. How far can you throw? <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. Do have range weapon. <clears throat> so that is its go, go, uh, guide done. Guide done. That's, that's its turn done as it flies up into the sky after, after having taken those two down. Dagger, it is your go. This is Stonewall down. Scuttle down. This thing's going up into the sky. What are you going to do? I'm going to take out the jam link that I have. And thrust it through Scuttle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because the lady wasn't was big enough. It's all I can do. Can you, yep. do, can you do reckless on the range attack? 
Oh, that's <coughs> what I was thinking, personally. Right, um, can I perceptive to see if I can see It's the first the attack on your turn. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah. Can, yeah. That's as long as I use 18. strength for it, I can. You yeah, see so. it going up into the sky some distance ahead of you in the direction you're going. I go, come on, Levin. That's um, where our friends are. Animal <laughs> 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 handling. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you do that first. Well, uh, with advantage, because you carroted it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the devil was better. It was a ten on the first one. Mm. So, uh, nine, was that the first one? No, I No, it was I, a seven, so ten, ten total. Ten, okay, so it goes from two. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, there's more carrots back here! I've never heard feeding an ammo referred as to carroting it. Carroting it. Jam tap will be a total of fifteen. Fifteen! Uh, to hit at, uh, what, eighty feet range? Okay, what's going to hit it? That's total of six damage. Six damage, all right. Okay, you throw the javelin. Um, just twisting slightly on the wind and slams into the rear of the tail of the wyvern. And it, its head looks down towards you, but then it continues its flight away. <coughs> that you done. So you're gonna have to make a death saving throw now. So you're gonna roll a twenty sided dice. Think big numbers. And then, and, you want... and then it just goes on the result. You want ten or more. Twelve. Okay, that's one pass. If you get three passes you stabilise, you get three fails, you die. Okay. So Alright, so one pass. Mrs. Stonewall, death saving throw please. The... That is a fail for Mrs. Stonewall. Oh. Well, we can see it's fly away, 160 feet away now. Dagger, you'll go. Okay. Alright. Uh, only because he's closer, so I'm still more. I don't know. End my rage, because. I can't hit this thing. <laughs> I, I could run and I could run in here one more time at disadvantage. It's probably got more hit points than that. Oh god! Come <laughs> uh, on, cabbage into the trees. And seeing, uh, remembering what we've been doing for like the past thirty minutes to an hour, take out the um, take out the uh, hip flask of giant wasp venom. Remember and looking at his hands that have swollen up and the rub them on his words as an attempt as a medicine check. Because, because it just annoyed him. There was no damage to it. So and he never mentioned that it hurt, so So you're gonna rub some of this stuff. <laughs> In, in, into so you rub poison into me, not into it, around, <laughs> almost around it, and try. You know how like uh, I know this is where someone tries to kill someone. Bad, no, no, bad comparison. But you know how when sometimes you have people put honey on wounds. All right. Do you know when, when you have a cut and you rub alcohol gel in your hand and it hurts like hell? That's about what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> he is unconscious. So. Okay. You get your flask and you pour some of this onto the wound. I'm going to need you to take a medicine check. Okay. If you get 10 or less, you fail a death saving throw. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you've got one success and one fail now. The wound <laughs> turns a much angrier purple <laughs> red, <laughs> and the whole area around it. There is soup right there. <laughs> Just more <laughs> soup. Yeah, well, this isn't fucking. It would have been better than this. This isn't <laughs> fucking Skyrim. I can't <laughs> heal you with soup. <laughs> <laughs> Just run forty cauliflowers into him. <laughs> Eighty wheels of cheese. <laughs> well, it's gonna go better than rubbing. Poison. And that's the end of my turn. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Scuttle. Make a death saving throw, please. If you Fifteen. That's another pass. That blue dice Stonewall. That's a pass. One and one. Dagger, you'll go. <laughs> the cart's still a distance away, okay. I'm afraid. Animal handling. <laughs> yeah, go for it. 
That's, oh, that's good. Oh, that's 22. Okay, Buttercup picks up the speed. You will be here in two rounds. Two rounds. Right. Scrap the, uh, the poison. I'm going to take out my bedroll, which is still stained. And you're going to push that in? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have any. I don't have a fucking healer's kit. What else am I supposed to bandage this shit with? <laughs> I get everything in my inventory and push it into the wound. <laughs> yes, that is essentially what I'm doing. Okay, okay, you get out your bedroll. What are you going to do? I'm, I'm going to just try to be killed by your attempts to save me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Could He's happen. the only one alive. All right. It technically happened, it nearly happened once already. So. All right, so you get your bedroll. I'm just going to fucking grab him in it because that was a fucking you, uh, massive wound. Okay, you're going to do a massive bandage. Okay. Basically, yeah. Medicine check, please. I, I do have to apologise. I do have to That's a 16 total. That's a 16 total. You are stabilised. You're still unconscious, you, but you won't fail any more saves. Okay, that's good news. You're okay, a... you tightly wrap this bandage around him and at least manage to contain any more blood uh, coming out of him. That's you done. Scuttle, you don't have to do anything else. You're just unconscious. Mrs. Stonewall, death save break, please. That's a fail. Oh, no! Is that one Don't come near me. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the round. I don't think Dagger. I'm going to ram into you. Mrs. Stonewall <laughs> is got a pool of blood surrounding her as you turn away from. Mary Poppins opens his bag to see what's in Okay, you've got this round. Bag. I just and then they arrive. Yes, but you have one round to your own yeah. He's got. Uh, you're he's, fucking shrouding his fucking. How many fails have you got? What? Cleric, barbarian. You failed two, sorry. Failed two. Failed two. Failed two. Pass, pass one. Yeah. So if you can pass another one, I can get there. Technically, you have a better chance of passing if I do jack shit. <laughs> <laughs> I am just going to make sure that. Everything is okay with Scottle. Okay. Because I know how fucking tough Mr. Stanwall is. Score. And if you do die, I am very sorry. You remain unconscious? Mrs. Stonewall. Oh, oh, that's 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 oh, the cart comes into view. Thirteen. As, the car, as you come over the ridge, you see the bodies on the ground. Dagger desperately moving around uh, Scuttle's body. Stonewall just in a pool of blood. I rush the cart. The cart skids to a halt <laughs> as I jump out. What? I see Mrs. Stonewall on the ground. What the, the hell? The needle happened? extends. <laughs> <laughs> I roll her over, the needle goes in. <laughs> okay. Cure wounds into his stone. Okay. <laughs> okay, so 1d8 plus 3. Alright. 7. You see the wounds beginning to close up on Mrs. Stone with blood staining, <laughs> colour starting to come back to her face. Her eyes flutter open. One of her husbands was an orc, a half orc, <laughs> so she's quite used to uh, <laughs> violence, violations. Right. I am going to quickly refresh my drink while you uh, recover from that. <laughs> How much was it all together? Seven. Uh, seven, <laughs> seven points of that uh, healing. Man, that was scary. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to pee. <laughs> oh. I'm still, I'm I need to shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think I already did it in bedroll. <laughs> what would be the first animal to do? So it's fine. I want uh, Tissa, who does damage, and uh, does more healing than anybody else. You've saved at least one character oh. again. I, I've saved session. every session, I've saved a character. Actually, I saved the character twice in the last one. You head buzzed him back in. Back <laughs> that's unconscious. I'm saying that. And I had to heal him again. <laughs> that's my <laughs> life, too, yeah. <laughs> First thing Jack was going to do was go up and try to reclaim the alcohol off you. He sees just the look in your eyes, the stress, and just takes the one and leaves the other bottle for you <laughs> so you can recover. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. <laughs> Gives you a pat on the shoulder. And then walks away. Oh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> what happened here? You see the empty vial of wasp venom lying not on the empty, ground. Not empty, not <laughs> empty. It's, uh, it's, like camp. it's more a bit of camping advice, gentlemen. <laughs> Don't let it fall. <laughs> At least the stew is still cooking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, takes out the bottle cider. Just looks and then gives his jacket. <laughs> <laughs> you can see you. <laughs> 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 I may have a day job as <laughs> it grew up, but then I just had to not to no longer want to partake in this. So Dagger tried to give uh, Jack a side of back, and Jack was like, no, and then Mr. Stone will catch yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Went to go take both bottles off him again, yeah. saw the stress on his face, so it's like, took the one, he could have the other, and Mr. Stone was just like, I'm having it's just like, yeah. <laughs> the look on Dagger's face is just like. <laughs> so. I turn to the horse and that, I, Good boy, Jupiter. Good boy. Good man. <laughs> <laughs> so this puts the tally of player characters I've nearly killed <laughs> to two, and the count of player characters I've actually killed to one. <laughs> that oh. was in the space of about two months as well. So. This is Stonewall. You're looking very, very worse for wear at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah the <laughs> um, Jack's going to sit next to you. He's going to take his jump off and put it on you. <laughs> Thank you, love. That Wyvern will not forget this encounter. So in those fucking game, the Wyvern will remember that. It had 110 hit points. You did 77 points to it. Maybe I I, all right, so I, I had 12 hit points. If you if he continued to only use the bite attacks, I well, may have had a chance. But it, if but considering he has a stinger as well, I was dead. Uh, yeah. Well, if the combat continued, they would have been through death zone phrase without you being able to help them. Yeah, exactly, yeah, and you would have taken a stinger. So, so that's what I mean. Yeah. It's for the best because I, I took it to 50 percent and then it will flee. But you went way above the fifty percent in trying to hurt it while it was going away. But still, seventy-seven points of damage. That's not, not bad going. Bad. That's good going. They're, they're not very high armor, but they they hit like well, yeah. Those stingers, yeah. Seventy-six, yeah. Mrs. Stonewall. Well, okay. So, <laughs> all on the roll of a dice there. <laughs> Taking a moment here to just collect your thoughts and. <sighs> Recover. The sky appears to be clear. Who wants stew? <laughs> <laughs> the stew bubbles away on the fire. Smoke curls up into the sky. I think. Um, <coughs> you're, you're, yeah, you're. Am I? Am I? Am I conscious? You, am I no, you're oh. unconscious. <laughs> Should we? Uh, Wait a minute. It's wrapped up like a sausage roll, just a dwarf head sticking out the top of the blanket. <laughs> I think I've just realised something. I don't think you become un unconscious until a long rest because you've used your heal dice. Mm. Unless, yeah, some, unless someone stays alive. Unless, some, unless yeah. someone wants to heal him, yeah. You just chop me in the back. <laughs> no, don't chop no. Don't throw him. <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't want him touching you. You see what he's done. Could someone else do <laughs> So if you take. Any more damage now? You're straight back into their saving throws. Yeah. I turn and I turn to I, and I see scuttle on the ground and I say, "I'm sorry, the, the needle is empty. I have no more, mm. no no more injections to give at this time." After the last party and dagger almost killing somebody twice and we had to bring them back, I've now run out. I need to, time to make more. I can bring them back to this world, but. Uh I think for God's sake. We'd better head up. we think we better head back to the tower anyway, my I think you definitely need to go back to the tower. There's an awful hole in your neck at the moment. Mm. Oh. 
<laughs> Probably his needle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure which is worse. <clears throat> <laughs> I think uh, we should pick up and put him in the back of the wagon as well. <coughs> Jack, can you help me? Well, actually, I'm, oh, I'm only done. three and a half feet. You two better yeah. do it. Let's, let's pick up. <laughs> can we slide him into the back of the into the cart, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Slide him into the cart. Now put him into the back. I. Good. I, should, I can't even fight it off. <laughs> <laughs> you, you One know, point you know of smell damage. If I hadn't have taken the cider, it would have had you. Yeah. Pro would have had a lot better chance. <laughs> well. You know how to work, Jack. Exactly. <laughs> and I did not want him near me. And Jack would have been able to punch a wyvern in the face. Yeah. It's a game oh, of choices. Yeah. It's a game of choices. Jack would have critted that wyvern <laughs> so many times. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So you load him back up and there's a plan to go back to the tower. Yes. I think we better take him back. And you, Mr. Stowell, I, I think we better take him back as well. I'm in need of a bloody long rest. <laughs> <laughs> well deserved. Alright. You take the car back to the tower. About ready. Uh, a hey, difficult, difficult. Well, you've been out. Well, I'm away. You just had to pick oh, them up. Don't worry about it. Before we get everything back, is fine. And I'm, uh, specifically on the way, I'm not taking my eyes off the sky. Okay. <laughs> and go back at me. Just pick, just pick it up. Living's fine. Mrs. Stonewall's adventuring party limited. Good to go. Mm. Still quite. <laughs> right. So you get back and uh, nothing in the sky that you see. I think it comes out of Straight to the healer's tent. It's just straight to the infirmary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can someone else take you though? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You go to the tent. <clears throat> um, and uh, you may rest up and you may have a long rest within the safety of the tower. Yeah, click the long rest. Long and rest. confirm it as well. Yeah. I keep clicking the fucking handle instead of the campfire. Very Zoom simple. sends a runner. Yep. 40 gold. 40 gold, thank you very much. So now, one, two, three, six. Such a monotonous effort. Carry the one. Cut some of the gold up. <laughs> I just shift the command. We got forty gold for the for the goods. Um, do we need to pay anything to to the infirmary, or is that no, 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 that's just a no. service provided. <clears throat> so we'll disseminate the gold as much as we can. Right. So you give Mrs. Stonewall and uh, Scuffle a chance to uh, have a, a rest. The day spins on to the evening. The uh, usual chatter of voices abound throughout the cavern. Eight hour rest? Yes. Eight hour rest. Okay, so you have a full rest. You go back up to full hit points. Six gold. For what it's worth. For what it's worth. What do you want to do next? So there's six gold each. I'll take the other four. I'm going to use the other four to get some some stuff that I need to then replenish my supplies of healing type stuff that I need mm. to then start making up and doing stuff like that. So I'm going to take the extra four gold and kind of get the supplies I need to start making the extra okay. potions. Oh, so you can find It's not a spell spot for me, yeah. so it's, I have to actually spend my time doing it. I can go through my routine of when I wake up, candles out of lit with a picture of a particular someone in that. Start away yeah, my little sure. uh, yeah. scroll case that I should be in with my some bulbs, my room and stuff. And put it away and then start coughing and spluttering and find somewhere to relieve myself of uh, my bodily fluids and go get my rations for the day. I have six of the of the fire bombs. Again, okay. okay. so six of them only. <coughs> the catapult ones are different. They can have a maximum of two. I'll make one of them. So that's okay. all I have as ammunition. After if I use them six five five bolts up, five bombs that things, then I'm down to frostbite bolts and stuff like that. So, 
Uh, I'm happy to take you to the next morning if you wish. Yep. To, uh, going around. Yep. Sure that. I don't think I've ever ate hours doing the game before. <laughs> <laughs> in game, yeah. Uh, brilliant, yeah, so I made sure that. Um, what was that horse's name? Why Sorry? Prudence. Prudence. I make sure Prudence has a good apple over there. So, so she's all good now. What is the name of this horse? Uh, I think it's called Hope. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> My daughter is no boss. Oh, begging your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, next one. Do we want to make our way back out again? To where we went to before? It has been three days now, and quite frankly, I'm right. scared to think about it. split up. Yes. Ever again. And, uh, what do you think attracted the wyvern? Smoke. So let's not make fire. A little bit more camouflage as well. Perhaps a faster horse, or a second car might also be in order. Or two horse. Two horses. Mm. Well, how much is a horse? Are there any, any ponies around? I mean, we don't, I, I might not be able to get on a horse if a cart is a bit out of the way budget-wise. You want a second horse? Our, uh, one horse is as good as two. Not just ours, but the entire of what I mean, Miss Tars's Things is most likely running low. I, as much as I'd love one, I don't think the militia would be able to spare any. Mm-hmm. 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 Our problem last time was that we stayed where we shouldn't have. Uh, so how do we take the giddy, giddy carton and buttercup and we go out where we were going before? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Really? Uh, yeah. I can't think what exactly this thing curses us with. Mm. Oh, Bad luck, I reckon. <laughs> I believe it's my turn to buy the bacon <laughs> sandwiches. Time for your piece. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, I've got some more fresh bread today. Oh, mm. <laughs> you say fresh bread, is it? Fresh bread. It's actually not just crust. <laughs> it is a little bit of a, a softer scent. Well, it's the same bread, it's just today's. <laughs> <laughs> so the last one we had wasn't today's. Is this at the no, same? No, yesterday's. The same is this at the same breakfast table-ish sort of thing that we were at yeah. last time? Look, let me put it this way. You don't see a bakery, do you? No, we didn't see any uh, goats and cheese here, we just went around and looked at that. Can I ask what you've got (laughs) on on, on offer for for, for breakfast? Right, so we've got the bread, which you can have uh, toasted if you want it crisped up a bit. And... uh, Crisped up a bit. (laughs) That's hard to say. Well, you haven't got soft teeth, have you? You shouldn't have this if you've got soft teeth. I'm just going to take mine and I'll knock it on the table. <laughs> <laughs> just going to dunk, 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 dunk. A bit of wood drops off the corner of the table. That's good, it's like a good bit. <laughs> take it with us, use it knocking pegs in the uh, We've got some goat's milk, which is, while a drink, is a meal in itself. <laughs> <laughs> Filled with protein. White Guinness. Is, is there anything else? Uh, we've got the bacon. <coughs> any, other, any other meats? We have managed to acquire one of the sheep that was brought back the other day. But I haven't killed it yet. Uh, I can do that if you want. No, it's better off alive, at least for the time being. Look, look, and he, he goes out the back and he pulls on a rope and he's got this sheep. <laughs> and he pulls it. No problem killing it right now if you want. Uh, it's worship no, no. but should have been used on, to make clothing for the rest of the time. So we just take bacon sandwiches and go, I think. Yes. Bacon sandwiches, bacon sandwiches to go. No, no, I mean, I'd rather do this properly than do it. It's not like a lobster, is it? <laughs> What's he going to do? Just hit yeah. it with a bit of yeah. bread? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I mean, it's not like one of those places where you go in and they've got a bunch of lobster and you pick the lobster you want to eat. I don't want to do that with sheep. Seem you like know, there's a, there's a pen with a bunch of sheep, and you go that one, and then we kill it, and 
So it'd be wrong, wouldn't it? Have you named it? No, oh, that one looks innocent. Well, no, I think I should. Yeah, you should always name your name your home. I'm going to call you Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you cannot kill him now. Oh no, my wife's name's Ellen. <laughs> 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 Bacon or ramen. <laughs> <laughs> and some of yesterday's bread, if you've got it, love. Yesterday's bread, I've got. Uh, I've still got some of yesterday's bread. It'll be a bit hard now, though. <laughs> I, I, I'll go for today. Today's so. today's bread. Today's so yesterday's bread for you, and uh, today's bread for everyone else. Still. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, in, in short order, some uh, bread and uh, bacon is put out for you all. Yeah. The bacon is warm this morning and the uh, grease does soak through the, uh, the bread. Although you'd find it it's somewhat better if you dip the bread in a cup of water to um, moisten it up a bit. <laughs> water for 10 minutes, hold it over the steam. I, I, I wrap my uh, sandwich up in, in a bit of cloth in hopes that the, it, the, the bacon will eventually soak into the bread a bit and just store it in the pack as... Is that to go, is it? It, it, is, it is to go. Okay. Just biting and crunching into it. It's just crumbs going down everywhere and the bacon grease just dripping down. Just and Jack's dirtying himself back up and feeling yeah. more normal again. Just Not po clean. poking the bacon. <laughs> you cook this with a candle. <laughs> well, I like it soft. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's the table? What's the table? I'm still, I'm still not used to your cuisine. <laughs> the bacon's okay today, but the bread is still awful. <laughs> All right, so we've breakfast sorted. What would you like to do? Let's go hunt that bloody wine and bacon. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, are we going after buy the noble thing? Both. We've got a score to settle with both those bastards. Quite, yes, quite frankly, is angry. This, I like this. He nearly bit my hand off. I, I do second this. I don't feel like I got a good shot at the wife. Right? <laughs> well, <laughs> let me tell you something about it, I don't. That one was hurt. I mean, I've seen a drug in that. I mean, certainly. Yeah, that happened. Do you say as, as hurt as you guys were? Proportionally <laughs> possible, I mean. Yeah. And we did that with three of us. Imagine what we could do with all of us. Yes, it's like, at the same time, it's, it's like you can't bake bread with more people in less time. Is that the right thing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's the problem with that? Let's go. <laughs> Jump on the wagon and we'll talk about it as we cart along. And then jump off the wagon and literally Shotgun. scurry to the, to the front corner in, in scared <laughs> terms of the fact that I would get ever left behind from the group. And I sat down, I pull out the bacon sandwich, give it a bit of a smash to mush it up with my uh, war hammer. Is, is it continue to? Is it the fear of being left behind from the group or the fear of being covered by Jack again? <laughs> yes. A little bit of both. <laughs> Welcome to the gilly wagon of terror. <laughs> and once again, embracing another book mm. and uh, slowly trying to nibble on the mushed up bacon sandwich. I feel like there's going to be a Me Too hashtag applied to this wagon. <laughs> okay, so you set off through the hills out on the road again. <laughs> Heading west, clear skies all around you apparently. Making yeah, not looking. I'm not looking at anyone else but the sky. Perception check. I just want. I'm just looking at the sky. Sky is completely clear. No sign of any dragons, islands, or other unpleasant. Something moves in the sky. Only short. I don't know. It's a seagull. It's okay. You get to the main road where if you cross over you go towards the farmland. If you turn to the right, you head up towards the fort and the pass. What do you want to do? Turn left, you go to Miss Pass. 
the farmland, because I saw the map down there, it looked pretty empty, there was no trees or anything like that? It's pretty uh, clear, yeah. So, a moving bush? <coughs> well, there are the occasional tree and bush and stuff around there, and uh, hedgerows and stuff like that. Okay, so yeah, we... To the farmland? Do I see any wyvern or dragon in the sky? As he's also looking around, I sit kneel up and peer out, out to over as well also to to see wary of okay you 16 can, you can make a subject as well jack's actually is awake in the back he's got a ball side with him he's just sat so still inside. got balls inside we took six you had one and you one haven't one. fucking drunk them through the night no you, you worst still alcoholic two, ever two, just two one hot and he's done two were uh, pocketed just as long as we only have four I have one two were uh, pocketed yeah so they pocketed the ones that are in the ones that are left in the wagon I like, pocketed and nobody knows they have them yet so you have two I have one you've drunk one you've drunk one so the last one is probably killed up with Jack yeah sure. yeah um, yeah, so perception, were we good? 17. 16 and 17. You uh, have your eyes on the sky as you cross over the road heading towards the fucking line. No sign of anything to worry about. You think you're okay. So we're leaning back to Mrs. Stonewall. <coughs> At the junction, to the farmland. I can't see anything. I can't see anything out there. Well, uh, nothing else we can go back and check on that farm. Going for this beast. Hmm. Oh, it's not going to go well. Hopefully, that the way. I suggest we take it slowly. And I'll hop off the back of the wagon and start walking. Walking bacon sandwich. I turn the music off. (laughs) (laughs) Just wound down. So you continue along <coughs> into the farmland area, is that right? Is that what we're planning to do? Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, what you said, we're going that way, are we? Uh, you're heading sort of that direction. Okay. <coughs> yeah. So this is um, really a dirt track now, not even a proper road by any stretch of imagination. This is still all jumped off. Yeah. Come in, in with me yeah, in the front. Else is, else is you're all in the back. I'll take, I'll, I'll drive. I am firmly clamped in that wagon. <laughs> We have Jack in the back of you as well. Yeah, and Jack's absolutely silent. What is our intended, uh, what's the intended plan? You know this place better than I. So we're going to follow the same route that we went at the last time. So we, I think we left that dead body there, that that creature was around. Um, and then we went on to the farm. If, if that's the case, then that will be what I'll look for. I'll, I'll take, uh, that will be my prime looking for. Okay. You come to the area of Scrubland where you had your first fight, where you you saw the body. He had a militia. He had a militia outfit on. The body's still there. Stripped as he was, Kellen took uh, took the, the stuff off him. Um, okay, we'll start searching around. <clears throat> okay. So, Mr. Stone, what is it we are actually looking for here? Well, imagine a gorilla with a goblin face. I'm going to try and track it now. <laughs> Survival check, send, please. Send the tracker out. <laughs> oh, good. Not too bad. 17. Okay. <clears throat> you examine the area around here. The signs of a fight. Uh, several participants in the fight, some of them skilled, some not so much. Um, <laughs> it's arranged all around. Um, the uh, animal participant in the battle fled to the south, uh, while the rest of the combatants stayed in this area and then headed back to the road. This took place a couple of days ago, you think? It seems like the creature fled south. Yep, I remember that. Well, whatever else was fighting here, I imagine you guys went back, I imagine. <laughs> Actually, we went onward. 
to a house filled with a family of vampires. So if south's where it's gone, then south's where we go. That's what I was afraid of. Mm, not quite. Creatures are done, as much as I like them. Do you maybe still here? as well have just got him to the same place as he as we saw here we saw the dead body and we landed that's right we jack in the box out of a bush he would easily use the same tactics because pe people are compassionate perhaps if one of the weaker looking members of the party was wandering around by themselves why are you looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it can't be me, I'm, on, I'm with the horse. He's smaller than I am. I don't right. know. It's Your shiny armour might put him off. Maybe there's someone else who might be able to go. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, the, the tracker. I'm going to cast uh, <laughs> Detect Evil and Good. Huh? Uh, for duration, you know if there is an aberration, celestial, elemental, fake, being or undead within 30 feet of me. And I'm just going to put that on, and it lasts up to 10 minutes concentration. And I'm just going to go right which direction. I'm going to get a body. The whole party is evil. <laughs> <laughs> They're all fiends. Not <laughs> 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 from Jack, he's an abomination. <laughs> uh, we, yeah, we just point out the dead body, which is where we approach. And, uh, Okay. So we head south then. No, we would like you to approach that guy. <laughs> I'm sure you can find way to hide if you need to. <laughs> you get a ping and it's like, oh shit, we'll go. Yeah, oh shit, we'll go. Not you, the corpse. <laughs> <laughs> the corpse yeah. go, oh shit, we'll go. Oh shit, we'll go. <laughs> oh, you spoke to me. <laughs> quick word of advice before you leave. It's the watch for the mushrooms. That is how it surprised us last time. If it does surprise us, make sure Florence doesn't run off with our car. I'll be with Florence. <laughs> <laughs> so, round the map would be the body then. Where else is the body at? Uh, do we, it's not on this map. Uh, no, no. <clears throat> I'll approach the body then. I'll approach. It, was, it was like in there because he was like farm at the time. I'm pretty sure we. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, the. The body's not looking great. It's been outside for a few days now. It's in a pretty poor state. Mauled by an animal. Mauled by an adventuring party. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just look, I'm just going to look, look around and see if I can see anything. Well, nothing pings on your detect good and evil. Um, you see the tracks heading off to the south from the animal. The tracks head south more, so would you follow me? Yeah. Why, don't, why don't you walk ahead a little bit and uh, we'll try stay stay back and... Come on, Teddy. See if we can flesh anything out. <laughs> on the and the... Uh, the just, just a little bit and just like, get Teddy just walking on just a little bit behind just, him, follow him so following him, him along. And just, just scattering the area. Basically. I don't know what they're doing. So we maintain distance. I, but well, I'm going to come forward and I'm going to just hide good 30 feet behind him. <clears throat> are we so just just one question Mr. Uh, what, why are we were so worried about the body one I thought we were going to find somebody it was because last time we approached the body and it attacked so I figured it may do the same as this creature did not seem blight so right. you just nice. all sit together and just go to the body yeah yeah, yeah. Step south. yeah. and then head south the and then head south along the line mm -hmm. I mean only because splitting up last time was so good for us, I think that maybe we stay a little bit closer this time. I, I don't think we should <laughs> split up this time. <laughs> well, I'm already over here, so I don't know what you're doing. So bring the horse up. Oh. Yeah, we'll all, we'll all yeah. go. <coughs> go Alright. Right. So we follow along. With you leading, the tracks are quite easy to follow. Often moving off the grass and through muddy areas, leaving them quite clear. 
you peer a little back to see the cart chugging along behind you. Still up in the air as well. Keep your eyes on the sky. As you continue to move south, a farmhouse comes into view. Shuttered windows, dark inside. It's the afternoon, no smoke comes from the chimney. It appears to be, for intents and purposes, deserted. The uh, tracks continue to the left of the farmhouse, carrying on south. How long is this taking us at this point? Oh, you've spent uh, another hour travelling. So you're in good position. Yeah. So at that point, I want to use. About an hour in, I want to use divine sense. Uh, can detect good or evil. Um, for 60 feet, that. Basically, uh, it looks red like yours. You can sense anything affected by the hollow spell or know the location of any celestial fiend undead. But I think yours is that you can see, yeah, isn't it? The detector. Uh, yeah, he, he can see. I think yeah. I can sense. I, just, I know where the, lo- the creature is located. Sorry. Okay, so you bring your ability up anyway. Nothing immediately. Comes to you. Are we within 60 feet of the farm? No. Okay. So we've got the farm building, then the track. How far are we away from the farm building? There's nothing uh, you're really in the bushes. 100 feet away from the. 100 feet. Is there anywhere I can put. It's um, good to know. Put the, the car to the side and kind of keep it kind of like covered over, like next to a tree or something like that? Yeah. Well, how about by the farm? I can't sense anything. Right evil around here so it might be a good place to keep uh, keep good old uh, go on go on get good old Kate just uh, hidden in the bushes <laughs> <laughs> to, to the farm yes. farmhouse I do think I say protecting Carl is best thing yeah I say head to the farmhouse our original mission was to put, to call in the people from the farm we might get lucky finding a few bits and doodads there so we'll make a slow walk to the uh, to the farm building yeah Okay. Looking for evil. Doing a very good perception check of yeah. anything around oh. the area, if that's possible. I'll be, and look, in the air. I'll be looking. I'll be looking as well. Right. <clears throat> Do we enter from? You can enter from here. So there's a couple of buildings. There is no smoke coming from the chimney in this one. Uh, you were out doing the divine sensitive. <coughs> so as you approach, the day is overcast, not as bright as it was yesterday. Clouds uh, in the sky, but still you keep your eyes we'll periodically out. looking up and looking towards the farmhouse. It looks like it's got mostly shuttered windows, dark with inside. As I say, no light seems to be coming out. Closest one of the shutters just moves idly in the breeze, occasionally just slamming against the frame of the heavenly house. No animals around this farmhouse, all appears to be quiet. I pull move up. My axe out of the uh, tilt. Just give it a bit of a tap on the uh, on, on the metal edge of my of my shield, just to make enough noise to uh, scare some of the birds away. Just to see okay. if anything reacted. A couple of birds flutter off from the building over here. The tracks go down in that direction. Couple of birds fly off there, there you go. <laughs> Nothing from the divine sense. Nothing from the divine sense. Gentlemen, tracks that way. I, I think just before we go after the tracks, maybe we should have a look in in some of these buildings. I think. You, you never know what you might find. Well, starting to look in building, we find vampires. As usual, Jack's always trying to check through barrels and crates and stuff so that Jack's particular pile of Jack's off there. Jack's yeah. off <laughs> he sees barrels yeah so that's why I think we should get like, more early so are you checking buildings <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna look I'm just talking I'm just talking I'm gonna look in the building I'm gonna start walking over to the building I'll follow guy okay. mm-hmm. I shall start to waddle up towards Jack I'm not Jack. doing it subtly Jack, unless you, you get closer you hear voices sitting within the building just Where are you going? Just pointing for the party, like. I'm on watch. My turn to take a shit. 
I don't need to hear that. Well, I need to do it. <laughs> no, it's <they're> just <laughs> guys. I think Oop. something wrong with Jack. <laughs> Yes, yes, he stopped so searching the barrel. Yeah, well, he stopped. You, I think you stopped just short of the building after hearing the voices. Yeah, you know, it's just like as I was about to go through the barrels and I heard these voices and stuff, and then just look at the party and be like, "I think and he's then found something to drink." Back to drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I continue to walk up a bit further towards towards Jack. Thinking that he might have found something, uh, something of interest. No, I was, was going to head to that building. Yeah, with him. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm
he goes to the door. Oh, I'm gonna and opens it. <laughs> I'm, 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 my hands hiding. are up for the record. Yeah, I'm, come on in. I'm just gonna like. He's hiding. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. okay. I want to do an attempt to hide behind the. Uh, so, if you're hiding, stealth roll from him. So, yeah. My apologies for uh, making a disturbance. I may have looked at one of our things back there. I'm not, I'm not pro. I'm just trying to. Yeah, I'm trying to listen. So you're down on the ground. Are you continue to hide I've, or? I've, like, <laughs> majestically, but not majestically, managed to get myself up, and I've just gone back to the window and again, just. Okay, <laughs> alright. <laughs> So, sorry, I, Sander, what you saying? Uh, my apologies. I am passing through, and uh, Wagon does not wish to cooperate. I was wondering if I could assist, or have some assistance in fixing. You seem like strong people, know how to handle it. Yeah, or well, any of your lot. Not a problem. I must say, though, I'm surprised you haven't got the wings. It's a long story. I do not like to talk. Why? It is a moment of weakness for me. Hmm. Well, I find a good amount of ale gets rid of most stuff. We got plenty if you uh, <coughs> fancy a quick bit, and we'll sort out your wagon. <coughs> 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 <clears throat> right, sit yourself down. Come on. While they're talking. <laughs> Come on, <I> got it. <laughs> okay. And the uh, lead one goes over to the table there, pulls out a, uh, a bottle, pours uh, some into a goblet, passes it over to you. There you go. Hey, who's that? And looks over at the window where you see Jack <laughs> with his face pushed right up against it. <laughs> the bottle comes up. <laughs> it's thief! Now I'm going to walk over to the window and uh, just punch through it. <laughs> Please tell me you're good at acting um, as I'm going to feign a punch and how big looks real. It's just shit. Sure. Probably the yeah. 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 Is it deception or performance? Oh, performance. What performance Okay. I mean, they're both the same. I want a 10. I've also got a 10. Okay. <laughs> we'll go against lead guy's insight. Remember, I, I am punching through a window for this. So <laughs> okay. So you smash through this window, just missing you, and you, how, how do you want to respond to the take of me? Just... In shock, and then just turn and walk away. He <laughs> 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 pushes through the front, front the window, and Jack jiggles, and then turns and walks it's away. It's not your proper. This is just this is how Jack is. It's Bring him in. Bring him in, boys. Absolutely. I'm just going to jump through the window. I'm just walking away from them. <laughs> just, just, All right. just. Listen to me. Okay. <laughs> so the two of them come outside. Now, what did everybody else get on their stealth rolls? Oh, sorry, I'm over in the cart over here. I got 18. 18. 16. 16. 16. Uh, six. 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 <laughs> there is Mrs. Like Stonewall. Mrs. Stonewall's right there. 12. I'm in the ghillie wagon, in the back part of the ghillie wagon. Okay. She's shouting You're further to, Jack away. to look after that jumper. <laughs> <laughs> Very I'm nice. Knitting that. I've just got Jack with his... So he's got it back on, yeah. inside out, back to front, as per usual. So the um, got you two of them come out back. at the just same time. Right. Look, there's more of them! One down there! Pointing at Mrs. Stonewall, who's uh, quite obviously... <laughs> Be like next to a barrel, but her back is <laughs> sticking out of the side of it. <laughs> you know, so one of those. Hide and seek. Yeah. <laughs> you fit you a squirrel, but you really have all the soul. Hiding like this. Bring them in, but don't hide but don't hide them. I have ways of making talk. Okay, so this one goes right up to the barrel. You here! Comes right up to where you are, but doesn't look down at you, looks straight down at his stone wall. You, come here. I'm not bloody going nowhere, and mind your manners. You'll come inside, or you'll feel what it's like to have my spear through you. You bloody touch me with that spear, and I'll hammer that look off your face. I'm just going to come over to Jack with 
technically it's gonna, it's, it can only be my great sword against his neck. Just like, you'll come with us, so we heard you'll come back. Like, <laughs> and just with the eyes, like, this. <laughs> okay. This one's gonna come over as well. Spear level towards where you are. Right. What well, do, boss? Well, she don't want to cooperate. I say we spit her. I say. Ooh. I <laughs> say. <laughs> can, reminds me of husband number four. You can definitely. And five. <laughs> you can definitely do that later, but we need answers. Why they tried to come here? Yeah. I'm just a bloody harmless old woman. Why don't you leave me alone, you big bastards? Well, I'll look out for a dwarf, that's why. Woman. Ugly. Must be you. Ugly. May you be forgiven. I'll have you know <coughs> I was the prettiest maid on my mountain. <coughs> anyway, I'm not a dwarf, I'm just short. <laughs> <laughs> Last chance, loudmouth. Get inside. Or we'll drag you in. No need to drag. A lady just needs to be taking her time, thank you very much. Cracking my knuckles. <laughs> I take this one. He called her ugly. <laughs> <laughs> She's been kind to you. Calm it down, Jack. We have no time. And I'm, I'm just gonna push past and bring Jack inside. I'm just gonna sit him down and mimic tiny orb. It's literally just like that, so you can just... <coughs> What's trying to do that? Is the drink still on the table? This drink's on the... Yeah, on the <laughs> table. What is he trying to do that? I'm not paying attention. I'll just grab the one of the drinks. <laughs> Stop <laughs> smiling, you. <laughs> so, well, you try to reach out, but he's trying to... I'm, I'm just trying to... Very loosely. So he can easily get out, okay. but it's more for the performance. Okay. You so, want to drink? I'll take it and I just throw it in his face. Okay. Happy now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 right. <laughs> so there's all the drink running off his mouth. He's moving his head around trying to get the drops to... Like, <laughs> like trying to get out the bottle like... I just turn to the other two. It's weird, you see this. His massive square on shirts is clean, but rest is here. <laughs> what? Yes, look. It's like grey here, and the rest is like brown and green. It's very... Look at one of them and very just give him a bit of a... <laughs> right, this is done what we did. I'll um, see if I can disguise my warhammer between my skirts. <laughs> drop my shield. <laughs> Slow of hand check. Well, it's the second time. With advantage, obviously. <laughs> okay, so you, you get up sort of putting the warhammer there and as you stand up it just drops out <laughs> with a loud clunk <laughs> what's this then well, I'm a lady <laughs> get inside last I've, chance I've got things to carry you know fine I'll go inside leave that there pardon me I didn't even want it Right, so at the end of a spear, they sort of poke you into the room and uh, move away from where you are, Scuttle. Completely oblivious to your presence. As they move away, it's just a sigh of relief, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look around and just look. <laughs> so I'm, okay. I'm going to, as see him come in, I'm going to sit her down and exactly the same with Jack, just the rope very, very loosely around the arms. And also connected as well, since it's the same room. Okay, okay. So... <laughs> and I have to connect. What are they doing? Yeah, from the... You heard the conversation, but from your perspective, um, they've come out, they, Mrs. Stonewall's got up, uh, Scuttle stayed where he is, and they're taking Mrs. Stonewall inside. Oh. What, what are they doing? My comrades, line up and let them see who they have betrayed. <clears throat> the building that comes up, what does this building look like? The one that we're looking at, this the big one here. Yeah. So how tall is it? Is it one? Is it si just single story building? And there's windows. Sorry, move man. So <coughs> is there windows? There's a window on the side here. Yeah. Uh, and on the front here, uh, no windows on the back. 
Um, this is a barn yeah. of some sort, so is this one. Yeah, so I'm going to so uh, just sort of sneak over to the, the barn and just look in it to see if there's anything, if there's anything in there. Alright. <coughs> so. Uh, just before you. Oh, sorry. No, okay, so you open the door to the barn and have a look inside? Yeah, you open it just a fraction, look inside. There's little shafts of light which come in through cracks in the ceiling, just illuminating beams here and there. And there. Um, there looks like some bales of hay in here. Um, room appears to be empty except for what looks like a large chest in the centre of the room. I've gone to Mrs. Uh, Stonewall's hammer as to pick it up just in case anything should kick off and I'm beckoning over to as quietly as I can. Okay. <laughs> so I see Scott there that's high going, what? Um, so, I, so, so I jump out, okay. And then, uh, I've got 25 minutes, then I'm taking 20, 25. Um, and I'm, I try I'm, just, and, I'm just sort of like yeah. standing there just... If I got up and roof here, can I see what's happening down there through the window? So if I'm you, the might, wagon, you might be able to see some of the action, yeah. yeah. So if I could just, if I'm on the side of the wagon, I can just jump <coughs> and then get onto the... The kind of roof you can kind of, clamber up onto the roof. Kind of just scale yeah. down, looking over the top. Looking. Yes, you get to you get to the ridge and you look down and you can just see some of the stuff of the window. You can see Jack there with some rope around him, uh, like leaning with his mouth to get with a bottle. Yeah. Do I see anything else around around the side? Like any you can't people? see anyone else around her. Everything else looks clear, as far as you can see. I will shout down to uh, Kelly and I'm going. It looks like like that that is tying them up. I don't know. When I go to pass that window from doing there, can I actually see out that window? Can you can see out the window, yeah. Can I see them? You can make a perception check to see uh, against your stealth while hiding hidden on the roof. Uh, an eight for stealth for me. Twelve. Twelve. So he, um, uh, his head is poking over the top. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to... Look out the window, like Fane looking out the window, just gives any little fresh look up. What does that mean? Oh, that's all we can do. And I'm, I'm gonna. S- I, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what do you see? And I'm, I'm, after, after I. Yeah, so after come and say, Line up, boys. I want them to see what they portrayed. And I'll see where, the, where they moved them. Right. <clears throat> first is first. What's your names? You heard them. This is my good friend, Bill. And Bill. Touching myself and casting a spell. You said at this point that you only loosely tied up on your details. Are there any yeah. verbal requirements to cast this spell? Uh, there are. I'm thinking, do I? Uh, I, uh. I have a jack start while I give that there. Just Looking at Jack, as I see Jack, look behind us. Small gesture, mm-hmm. and I will uh, say, you, you gentlemen, remind me of uh, a husband of mine, and well, I always remember what my ex-husbands used to say: guidance. <laughs> You're casting guidance for myself. Can you make? A stealth roll to see against my perception to see if they catch you casting this spell. Would that be a disadvantage? Oh, I would have thought so. That would be an eight. What was that? What did you just say under your breath? I said it's what my husband used to say. I always remember that. Anyway, my, this is Bill. He's a good friend of mine, so don't you hurt him. And my name's Mrs. Woodfence. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> You're not casting any magic, are you? I don't hold with magic, love. I'm too old for it anyway. She loves to dumb to be able to cast with the arcade. I can smell it, though. That's just at, Jack. At that point, uh, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this was my, my original intention of those two moving, 
and like out, out about it. No, no, no. So, so really, this, this one here is the one asking the questions. This one has gone out to Stonewall. I need this one is to hear one fence. I need them to make a constitution check to see okay. if they. Uh, Madam Woodfence. Constitution save to see if uh, my flatulence doesn't put them off. <laughs> they are. They uh, are used to such smells. I don't know if At Jack. Point, I've tried to sneak up just to the uh, step, just to the steps. Oh, come on. there? Yeah. All right, you're going to need to make an additional stealth roll as you're moving again. All right, after hearing this fart. <laughs> 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 yeah, after hearing this fart. Oh, it wouldn't be subtle. It, it's just yeah, eight. Yeah. Yeah, so after hearing this fart, I'm going to stand up on the table just like, you're going to have to mess with us. Yeah, I'm going to count with me until you look at your inferiority. Who's he talking to? <laughs> Three, two. It looks like they're talking. I don't know why. One. Uh, Show sure time, boys. Uh, acid uh, breath is going straight along that. Okay. Okay. Against <laughs> all three of them. Right the initiative. You'll get surprise round, but initiative. Uh, I wanted to do like. Oh, but Jack, when he swings out the box, he just what takes it out off on that one guy and walks off of it. <laughs> just like, I, just, I just wanted them as many in a row to see how much I can get. One five. Oh, I mean, oh everybody. Sorry. Four. Um, oh, not good. Six. Uh, sorry, so. boys. Uh, <laughs> I got eight. Sorry. Six for Gunther. Eight for. Um, Stonewall. Woodfence. <laughs> <laughs> 13. Is it hyphenated stonewall? Dagger. <laughs> uh, natural 20 for a 21. Ooh. Uh, Jack. 21. 21. Uh, your dex would be higher, so. Yeah. Uh, so what was your dex? Plus 5. What was your dex? Plus 1. My dex is also plus 1. Mm. Okay, the so. The wasp is back. <laughs> <laughs> Try and cut up his bum again. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might confuse whoever we're dealing with. Quickly cut their bums. Quick! <laughs> Diversion! <laughs> Great war crap. All, right. <laughs> All right, first thing, you've got a surprise round. You move around there and acid breath them. All three of them need decks Okay, is it a line? Uh, it's a line, my specific intention, uh, yeah, 30 foot by 5 foot, my spe specific intention was to go that line right down the middle to try and catch all three. If you want to rule that differently, that's actually the problem. Uh, uh, it would be, it's a 5 foot line, you go in what? That way? Mm -hmm. So you can get two of them. That's not, that's, uh, it's on your ruling, that's all. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, so you can get two of them, that's yeah, fine. So Dex, Dex safe. safe from both. Alright, those two will see how they do. Oh, uh, that's a 19 on the first one. Okay. And the second one is a 5. Uh, so, the, save, uh, the, one, the second one fails, and that's 7. Uh, so the other one takes 3. That's a damage too far. Slide oh. down. <laughs> okay. Um, so, f that one takes 3, that one takes 7. It's quite a distance here. 10, 15. Yeah. That changes... The 60. I can do it. <laughs> I love a good performance. <laughs> so, <laughs> their, uh, acid flays and they're spraying both of them. We're in the top of the round. It's Jack. Which one called Mrs. Woodfence ugly? Uh, the lead one. What was handled? The one that I just high five him. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so over the table from you. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go. It's the one right in front of me. Is it? Yeah. Right, so yeah, jump on the table. I'm just gonna lay into the. Yes. <laughs> All right, you shock off the rope. That he was. <laughs> yeah. Right. Straight off the table. You knock over a bottle of ale and it spills. Oh, out that makes me door. angry. <laughs> <laughs> I rage. I rage. Uh, Eighteen. Eighteen. Is a hit. Yes. Okay. Uh, Uh, seven points of bludgeoning damage, and then on strike. Eighteen again. Yeah. 
And then another five points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. It's going to be all for me at the moment. Okay, hold the line for that. Okay, uh, that's fine. Um, that Jackson? I can't grapple because I've already done my bonus action to do the uh, one arm strike and I did the second attack. Is that you finish, yeah? Yeah. Dagger. Uh, again. Jumping off that table, swords coming out, yeah. swing down on a side guy, reckless. Go for it. 15. Uh, 15 is a miss. And he comes round, brings his shield up. Your uh, sword clanks off his off it. Is that you done? Uh, I guess bonus action rage doesn't exactly change what I want. So yeah. Yeah. yeah that's me. Um, so this one round the back, he moves round to be to the side of his ally. They're locking their shields together. You can see part of his face is burnt away from your acid. Um, he runs round and stabs out at you. And he's going to use master advantage because he's been five feet of an ally. To fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he had advantage anyway because of that was. Oh no, master advantage is a different thing. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, all right. So it is a nineteen to hit. Which will? So it is. Nine points of slashing damage. Reduced to, uh, is it five or four? Four. Uh, Round right it down. Nice. Um, but because of his martial advantage, he's in five feet, it means he can do an additional 2d6 for another seven points of damage. Reduced to Okay, and then the first one can use exactly the same. So he's going to attack you. Uh, that is definitely going to hit you. Uh, four. Five points of damage with an additional four points. Okay. It's a martial advantage. Um, this one is going to move there to step in front of the door. Going to jab up towards Jack. So he's just going to take a jab up at you. That is going to be 15 to hit Jack. Yeah, that hits. Um, I don't get the master advantage in this case, but I do do... <laughs> I said do do. Eight points of damage. Yeah. Okay. Just on the floor as well. I picked it up. Okay. I've got, so I'm currently <laughs> equipping what like you have. Oh, dual wielding. <laughs> Some hammers and shields. <laughs> yes. That's a dwarf I could fall in love with. <laughs> <laughs> Just carries around your equipment. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Just duct tape his own to his arms. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> um, this one here, seeing that uh, you are well in hand, and it looks like Jack is as well, is going to move forward. Right, so he shouts out to uh, some, no quarter boys, take them all down. The ugly bitch goes for me. And he is gonna use a great sword attack on you. That is 14 to hit. Not to miss. He's gonna follow up with a second one. That is a natural 20. Oh. Okay, I'm making it. It's not awful, but it is 18 points of damage. So, uh, swings up at you, presumably shield. You've got your shield, haven't you still? No. Your shield. So it swings up at you, just hits your armor, brings it back for a second blow, this time buckling in your armor with the weight of it. There's a one of the um, straps that keeps it in place snaps and it swings forward from your chest. Um, the, sl the weight of this uh, 
sword just so intense, it's the, the moment of the wyvern flashes for your eyes again. <laughs> um, they are done, it is Mrs. Woodfence. As you get hit, I'm obviously coming up like, I'm coming, Mrs. Stonewall, I'm coming! That's the one by the door. Woodfence. The one by the door is just having a jack go. <laughs> 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 so, Mrs. Wo- Mr. Woodfence, <laughs> Madame, Madame Woodfence. Okay, uh, is the leader dude high five? Is he wearing heavy armor? He like sort of metal armor. Is wearing so half plate. I'm gonna heat that shit. Yes! Up oh, with yes! The fire okay. of my anger. That looks like a spell to me, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the metal becomes white hot. Uh, any creature in physical contact with the object takes 2d8 fire damage. Ooh. 13 points of fire damage. 13 points of fire damage. Ah! Ah! It burns! It burns me! You can always take it off. <laughs> yeah, it takes like a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it takes ten minutes to doff your armor. <laughs> God damn, you don't bring a manual. No, wait, 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 we'll wait. <laughs> 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 okay, um, so he starts, Aah! and smoke starts pouring out from underneath his armor. Stonewall finished? No, 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 no. It's Mrs. Woodfence. <laughs> <laughs> I am Mrs. Going Dry Stone to Walling. <laughs> I'm going to. Um, could I go under the table that Jack's on top of? Yeah, yeah, you could. It's just a little bit of an acrobatics check, but it uh, should be easy enough. So I'm going to do that, and with a shout to upstairs to. Uh, Hope you land on your feet, Jack. I'm going to try and lift the table up as Just a makeshift shield. Looking down at on the floor, <laughs> heating, wondering what she's okay. doing. So you slide on the table. First of all, make an acrobatic check. Oh, dear. <laughs> it's not starting well. Is my guidance still active? Yes, because you haven't used it. Actually, unless it's gone somewhere else. Oh, it is. Gone. Yeah, so yeah, it has gone. gone. Okay, no, it's a uh, four. It's full. Okay, so you slide under the table, attempting to pick it up, but you kick one of the legs out. The leg breaks, <laughs> oh, no. and the whole table starts to collapse with Jack on it. Okay. Jack, can you make an acrobatics check? Uh, acrobatics? Yes, please. Uh, 20, dirty 20. Okay, the table gives way, but you are able to roll out the way, and you land here as the table collapses on top of Mrs. Stonewall. Um, so you must pull yeah, the table is your... on you. Okay, good. That'll do. <laughs> um, you come off, Jack, and you yeah. just roll to your feet. <laughs> All right, Mrs. 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 Woodfence. Woodfence. As, <laughs> just quickly, as a foot, I land on my feet. But is there like a bottle around me? <laughs> just, <laughs> there is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna pick that up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Clock the next bugger with me. <laughs> Khalil. So you've just opened the door and you look through and see this uh, uh, box. I just can't look, I just, well, is it like, do they open like, they're open that way? Like, yes, yeah, they the forward, open in. Yeah. Walking like That's John Wayne. I think everything's <laughs> kicked off in there as well at the same time. Yes. So I'm just going to like, push the door open and hear the scuffle happening in the front of us. Can I see that leader through the window? So there was one here. Yeah, yeah, you can, the, you can see the leader for the window. I'm just going to fire off uh, my Eldritch Blast. Uh, Eldritch Blast? Eldritch Blast out there. And it was, you just can see a fisk flying through the window. Yes. All right, make it with disadvantage because you're going through a narrow thing. Yeah, all right. This fat man. Eldritch Bass. <laughs> Eldritch Bass. That's Eldritch yeah. Bass. That's the fabulous one. It was. <laughs> Down by the riverbank with it. That's a, diff- that's, a diff- that's, a diff- that's a different type of great old one. Yes. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, ten. So you're just going to see a fist fly towards the. Uh, the um, yeah, the rest of the glass, which is still left in the pane after Dagger smashed it, just shh, splatters as your fist bangs into the window frame. Oh, but does it make the hole any bigger? <laughs> no. no. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just going to look at the chest and be like, 
and I'll start running towards the house. So I'll do my full movement 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Khalil Dunn. Gunther. Uh, sorry? You're up on the roof? Up on the roof. Uh, so how big is the hole that I can... Could I shoot something through there? You can. Uh, how difficult would it be? I'm going to make put it as disadvantage shooting. Oh, God. Trench filters. Um, do you know what they say? Oh, it's guts, no guts, no glory. So Gunther sees what's happening. He jumps over this part of the roof and he's going to slide down off to the edge and then and try and well. drop onto the ground. Okay, acrobatics. Acrobatics. Oh, oh that's it, a bad I, I pull a ham, hammy on the way through. <laughs> you can take two points of damage. Two points of damage. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you hit the ground. <laughs> Should have stretched. <laughs> Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. Oh, you're I can still move because I slid down there. Can yeah, I move forward yeah, a little bit? Yeah, you can still move. So I'm gonna go ten, uh, and I'll hobble. <laughs> um, whilst I'm running, I'm pulling the big tube okay. from over the top. The t-shirt cannon. The t-shirt cannon. Is that it? <laughs> trying to hobble his way through. Uh, he sees Mrs. Stone will take a hit, and he's trying to fire it through the window at the the big guy. All right. Fire in the hole! <laughs> Come on! Boom! <laughs> that is 14. Okay. The t-shirt just smashes on the side of the building. <laughs> <laughs> it does do a load of damage to the side of the building. If it stops something, that building takes 3d8 damage. <laughs> give it, give it. Give it, give it. <laughs> All once. Seven. 15. 15. 19. 19 points of damage. Okay. Smashes through that wall. There's a, if you're inside the building, then there's a. <laughs> <laughs> the building <laughs> shudders and stuff starts dropping down from the ceiling, bits of debris. Who and... called the fucking Kool Aid man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> I was just trying to make the whole thing as so I could shoot through it next time. <laughs> and that is Gunther's go. Okay, Scuttle, you're up. Right. That would have been 19 points of damage to him. Okay. Maybe a couple more. So if I yeah, well now it's talking about his magic. Can yeah. I pass <laughs> Mrs. Stonewood Fence uh, <laughs> <sort of laughs> equipment that I picked up and then take mine out to smack the lead? You could just throw it on the ground. I'll let you do that for free. Just throw it on the ground where she is. Okay, so I want to walk up to in front of the leader. So, well, the first thing's first. You go up to where the door is. Oh, is the door there? Yeah. Oh, the door is there. Okay, oh, okay. right. I so open the door. I thought the door was the one, <laughs> one right there. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I want to throw your warhammer and your shield. Okay, you toss that onto the ground. It lands nearby. Okay. And you've got a table on you at the moment. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Bring out my uh, my battle axe, yep. encrusted with the with wasp venom and Ooh. and my shield, and then. Slam that guy in the butt. Go for it. <laughs> in but, the butt. Do I in the butt? do the advantage? Because where do you hit him? You do get to go. Oh no! Actually, Mrs. Stone was on the ground. Yeah, she's prone. She does not have so the advantage. This is the second in large arsenal we've seen <laughs> in this group. Change the dice, dude. Yeah, that was you the fucking you bad dice. <laughs> That's the one, isn't it? You oh. swing. The axe misses him. Embeds in the floor. <laughs> Would you like another dice? <laughs> <laughs> so your axe head you changed from the other ones. You miss so badly, but put so much effort to it, the axe head gets embedded in the floor, and you struggle to pull it out. Oh, oh. Uh, Fortunately, everybody's facing the enemy. You don't think anybody's seen it. There's, uh, <laughs> there's no. <laughs> I'm thankful uh, for, for no one seeing that. There's nothing more that can be can be done, and I sort of just go a. a at uh, Mrs. Stonewall and uh, nodding in the direction of where I've thrown your... <laughs> yeah, and that's all I did this round. I just read your stuff now. <laughs> Jack, it's top of the round! Right. Oh, Get to my feet, see if I'll pick it up. Stumble across to the closest one, take a massive swig, and then decide to try and clonk him over the head with it. Okay. Uh, Move in with your broken bottle. And... Opposite aim, so... Just go for it. Bandage. 14. No, so 19 is the, the best of the two. Uh, five 
8. Bludgeoning and damage. So what was it to hit, sorry? 19. 19. 19. 19. 5 points of bludgeoning and damage, and then... Uh, you can do bombs after a long strike. Can I still use a key point as well then to dodge after? Um, or is it... I've got so the on, 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 on Penny Dodge, or whatever it's called, uh, patient, patient, patient Defense yeah. is a key point to make it on the So you... So you couldn't do a bonus action strike and patient defense. Ah, bugger it, I'm going to try and hit him. Yeah. <laughs> I may as well. So, yeah, one arm strike. Uh, in fact, I'll spend a key point to do it twice then. Uh, so, Fluid blows with advantage as well. So, that'd be, the first one would be 21. So, the first one would be 21, and then I'll roll for the second attack as well. Just to get it the way. And then that is an actual 20. So, uh, the first the first one I hit. So, so, that's 5 points of bludgeoning damage. And then the well, second the one, maybe. I'm going to double the dice. Um, so, yeah, let's see. Uh, that's eight oh, plus three. That's 11 points of blood. All right, so you well. move in. You punch him and punch him again. <laughs> you go full Van Dam, you're doing a slow motion. <laughs> and he goes down. Yeah! Uh, even with all of his armour, you were just smacking into it so hard, the dents are hurting. Hit him with the bottle, it wasn't like hitting him that way, I actually hit him with the base of the bottle, so it hurts <laughs> even more, just BAM! Yeah, he's down, he's down, you took him out. Jack done? I'm done. Dagger, you're up. <laughs> uh, big guy's preoccupied with this is fence stone. Wicker, wicker basket. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna take some steps away, uh, get into a nice position, and give this guy. Uh, I'm gonna say this is the. Second okay, he catches games. you moving. He will yeah, spin around and take the attack of opportunity on you. Yeah, that's fair enough. I've got a foot out for you to try and trip on. Okay. <laughs> Great sword attack. Come on. Hang on, hang on. He's a disadvantage. He, uh, yeah, because he's got key metal. Yay. Okay. Well, in that case, it is a 14 to hit you. Good hit. Totally worth it, that's 10 points of damage. Okay. Oh, sorry, plus two, 12 points of damage, so, yeah. Okay, so he's right, swings round as you move out. Did not feel the thing. <laughs> Dice almost the size of your tray. 21 is a hit! Uh, uh, 12, 6, 11. 11 points of damage. Smashing. He is down! Nice. Yes! <coughs> That's me. That's you done. It's their turn. Um, so he is going to turn round. What a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> What's behind door number two? You're as trying he, to hit me in the butt? As he turns around, I'm still yanking my axe out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I what's going to happen next time. Right? Just 12 points of damage. <laughs> no, you can hit, try and get the axe out, you can hit me right in the dick. Natural 20. Oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay. Uh, Would you rather take him that train from this guy or the wider? Probably this guy. <laughs> still could go badly. Okay. Still could go very badly. Like it is 13 points of damage. That's uh, enough to down me. Okay, so um, Khalil running across, you can see. Uh, <laughs> you can see Skull just looking inside the door and looks like tugging at something and then Skull gets lifted off the ground oh. as this blade emerges from his back oh. and gets thrust back a five feet. I got him! And then turns around, this one's eyes goes wide as it sees on the opposite side of the room, two of its allies just <laughs> been dropped by you two. Back to you, baby. Um, this one, though, says, focus on the bitch, she's on the list. <laughs> Any defensive bonus from this table? 
Well, you've got your weapons you threw. It's a technical problem. Oh, we haven't got them. No, we haven't got them. We haven't got them. We haven't got You are prone, so he would have advantage, but I will take away the advantage because you've got the table. That's right. The table's the shield. And he's also got disadvantage unless he wants to drop his armour. Oh, that's very true. Yeah. So he's rolling a disadvantage either way. I'm going to go with disadvantage. Can't exactly drop his armor in. <laughs> Give it a round. Oh, so this is fucking hot! <laughs> 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 ah, my nipples! <laughs> right, he's gonna pound away at the table. With disadvantage! Uh, disadvantage, the first hit is gonna be a nine. That's a fail. Would have been a 19. Second shot, with disadvantage. That's a natural 20 oh. and a 16, so it's just a, a 21 to hit you. Yeah, that's it. It's, it's, but at least it's not the advantage one. So he <laughs> brings the sword down on the table, splintering it into the sword going into you. It's not good, Mrs. Uh, Stonewall. Mrs. Woodfence. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Stonewall's going to take 12 points of damage as the, short, the sword. <laughs> Just thrust through her body. <laughs> you two just love fucking going down. To I feel like I've been a big help. So <laughs> um, he his uh, armor will start to call though. Okay. No further further damage to him or anything like that. No. Uh, Can't uh, activate his bonus action. Yeah, okay. When Mister Stowell down, he'll run over to this one. Get clear. It's more important to get back to town. Um, and if Mr. Stowell, can you make a save for it, please? Uh, can try. Nice. That's uh, a save. Khalil! I'm going to run up to the window and Eldridge blast that the captain. Oh, it's this. Is it that? Yeah, that's the window. That's, no, that's, no, that's where you hit the fucking. That's a big hole, hole in the wall. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. You can see through there. Oh, okay. Hole in the wall. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm straight roll. Straight roll. No disadvantage. Do you run up there? <laughs> 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 yes. Twenty-three. That is a hit. Yes. Uh, four force damage, two bludgeoning, and I'm moving five feet. Okay, your fist <laughs> hits the captain straight inside. <laughs> ah! And he goes down on the ground, he's gone. Oh, yes! Um, the last one now. <laughs> Eyes wide, mouth open as the captain's dropped, his allies are gone. Can I anything else from you? That's all I can do. Gunther! Uh, well, that, that changes things, okay. Yeah. Um. 10, 20, 25, uh, can't see through, how big is it, just one door is it? One door. One door, so if I got around here, could I see through the door? Or uh, could I only see through this way? You can only see through that one. Only see through that one there. Uh, so, Gunther's going to run up, he's going to jump through the window, he's going to go through the window type part. Okay. Um, and he is going to... Um, yeah, he's going to uh, just fire a firebolt from, from the gun straight across. Uh, natural 20. Oh, 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 oh. Straight to the face. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be a good roll. Some damage. Uh, double a dice. Yeah. Oh, I need eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. <laughs> he's still up, unfortunately. Are you done? That's me done. Scuffle gets over for it. Oh, God, we've got two down, haven't we? Off. That's a save. You're all right. Top of the round is Jack. I'm gonna like uh, just run at the other one and <laughs> dog pile. Try and jump on. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna basically do my attack first and then uh, one round of ammunition. So, no, I miss with that. Okay. Uh, so I miss with my normal attack, but I can still attack with an arm strike. No, that's a miss as well. All right. Dagger. You just miss both of your attacks. I try jumping over bodies to like dog part on him. So. All right, I, I just I just see this walk over, sheath the sword, and just punch him in the face. <laughs> okay. Reckless. 
That's a natural 20. Oh. <laughs> uh, that is eight blushing damage. Um, okay, you punch him so hard, he's, the blood just erupts from his nose as you break it. <laughs> Sprays over his face. I draw back, he drops the floor, he's down. Technically it should have been uh, 12, because of range damage. <laughs> well, he's more than enough. Yeah. Okay, so he goes down as well, but we are still in this ship because we've got two people down. No, yeah. this house is down. Mrs. Oh shit, Mrs. Donald, please don't Stonewall. make a save, Mrs. Woodfence. Mrs. Price Stonewall, that's two saves. <clears throat> Khalil. Uh, I'm going to rush over to uh, our little friend <laughs> that's on the floor. Two, three, four, five. I was like, help! We got put him down! He's down! <laughs> I don't know what to do! <laughs> Pour some acid into it. Just <laughs> <laughs> stuff stuff into <laughs> it. <laughs> 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 fucking hot pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Genius! <laughs> <laughs> Not the bad roll! Carrots! Don't worry, I carroted him! <laughs> okay, so you go over and help! I don't know what to do! <laughs> And then my first day certificate is expired, I don't know how to do this anymore. <laughs> okay, Kalil, that's you done. Glunta. Uh, well, I, I didn't see Scuttle go down. No, I, you didn't. I hear this, but I see uh, Mrs. Mrs. Plasterboard <laughs> down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mrs. Uh, Drywall. <laughs> I, I run over to her, I shout to her, I think you're just starting to enjoy this. And I roll her over again, and the needle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Slam it in <laughs> Mrs. Deathbed. Straight back into her again. <laughs> Mrs. Pincushion. <laughs> she takes, I miss anyway, it goes into, not a, not a flat area, but a little bit more cushioning area, and she heals for three points. Three points. Uh, You're right, yes, I think. The next time you do oh, that, sorry, I'll six, be expecting six a proposal. <laughs> <laughs> six points you get back. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right, that's you done. Scuttle. Let's save throw, please. Two. That is a fail. I'm out. Oh, well. that was on the wall. Top of the round, Jack. He's close. Uh, Are you the other one with healing? Yeah, I, I'm the one that could have run me up. Well, yeah. hey, you know what, there seems to be no more fighting going on, so I'm hey, going to you know turn what? around, go towards the nearest drink, and start yeah. drinking. Get a drink. Dagger! <laughs> God. <laughs> Still got one of these cauliflowers. I technically haven't seen you going down. No. So I'm just gonna, Apple. I'm just gonna <coughs> grab Mrs. Stone's arm and just help her out, right? You seem like you're starting to enjoy this. I'm bloody not. That was quite a piece of acting. Thank you. And seeing a scuttle on the floor, I'll cast healing word. All right. <coughs> For one point. <laughs> it is enough to bring him round. <laughs> All right, that is us out of combat. It wasn't a nice oh, was it three. Three or two, yes. One plus two. Yeah. Out of combat. Take a moment to survey the scene of the fight. Mrs. Stone, you might forget your, your hammer. Oh, thank you, love. As soon as drinks around. Sorry, there's plenty of drinks around. Yeah. There's about 30 bottles of uh, ale here. Take it all. Used to lying down. Start as, just like, as much as I appreciate your abilities, I do not think you can actually do it all at that. So well, just look, put it all, like, just start no, no, putting no, it all no, on the table no, ready to take away. And, yeah. what, what were you three thinking? <laughs> what was all that about? Well, I just put it at the table. Right, the, the bottles I've collected. I understand <laughs> you. <laughs> I understand you. <laughs> you. I understand you. This one was on. Uh, yeah, after, after Jack pushed my face into a window, thank you for that, by the way, uh, <laughs> I had a bit of quick thinking. I am not, you know, as you can see, humanoid. And they were not either. I figured, use my uh, race to my advantage. And it worked actually surprisingly well. A lot better than I expected. I look at the blood just pissing out the scuttle. <laughs> and. Better than I expected. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Pop Water Skin has gone. He is doing this, it is not full of poison inside. Are you sure? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, um, what was all this about? Again, we well, turned the table with the well, bottles it on it. It was either this or we are probably. I can use that to watch it. If they had seen any of the humans, they would have killed you instantly. I have a suspicion that they were looking for me. They did. They mentioned your name. You were on the list. 
as as I sort of stagger up to the to the doorway, semi lie on the, uh, the, the the dead body in there just to, as a regain. They did mention they were after a dwarf. Could that have been you? Well, it could have been either of us, I suppose, but more likely to have been me. I will leave those up. Found the chest over there. It's going to help you grab it. Could have alcohol in it. Just uh, take a quick Just look away. around before you start opening chests. Give me a persuasion check. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if we want better. Yeah, 24. We got enough one, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go onto it, I'm gonna try and like just straight away smash it up, open it up, watch just to see what's inside. Well, you guys are now gonna be. It's Jack, isn't it? I'll, I'll, I'll just pop the chest open. I'll, I'll follow along. Oh, so oh, you're just going to put up to it. I'm going to see. You've told me there's alcohol in it. I'm, I'm, I'm following just, along. I believe me, so straight away, just pop, pop it straight open. I'm, I'm just going to see if there's any intelligence or something around there so. that might aid us. So go through yeah. the leader okay. first and then work my way through and see if there's anything on there. That <coughs> the leader has a, a scroll pouch and uh, inside is a piece of paper which <coughs> has a list of names on it. Spellcasters, um, and it has names such as Corin, Harbinger, um, Rasvin, Malmia, and added at the bottom is Stonewall. Sorry, your name is on this list, and only some other very important people here. <coughs> well, that's no surprise, love. I'm a quite important person, you know. <laughs> This is, is there anything else on there? Just yeah, it's uh, any of these people are to be captured, alive, and brought to the town. At least that's one less. I think this is, I think this, we should send, I will keep this, put it in my pocket, and I think as soon as we get to the town, I must go and speak with uh, these people on, on this list and let them know mm. what this was. I don't suppose it'll be a surprise to them, but it was a surprise to me. And I guess that means chasing after that horrible monkey face gorilla thing. Is his one just kind of like hand drawn at the end? Yeah, it's, it's a different a different text to the rest of it. Someone else has added this to the list. It looks like your name has just been added to the end of this, Mr. Stonewall. Hmm. I'll say someone that you have annoyed has added your name onto this list. Maybe a local manager. Maybe they haven't had a chance to tell anyone else, and they thought these guys would just do the job. So. That might be the end of it. So further to that, um, and the rest of the paper, you've got a what looks like a drawing of the outer wall of Miss Hass, and uh, the locations of three camps outside the wall. Three camps of oh, like does one of them sound like our camp? Uh, no, no, it looks like camps of their forces that are outside the wall. Whilst leaning on the dead body that that I'm on. I'll have a rumble for <clears throat> um, So he's got uh, 11 gold pieces on him um, and he is equipped with uh, he's got a spear, a long sword and he's got a half plate, oh no sorry chain mail and a shield <clears throat> Is this one of the camps the tall man? It is not uh, These are quite close to the wall in comparison to where you are. Oh, okay. That pile that you got from that guy, is that the same that's on the other two guys as well? Yeah. Yeah, so I'll just times that by three. Yeah, and then the main guy has got 50 gold on him, and he's equipped with half plate and a great sword. So, what did you say, sorry, that the body has? So I've got it all written down. Oh, so so all written down. Yeah, I've written them all down. Written them all down here. So we can take the pickings first, and then take the the armor back to the camp. Unless there's anything from here that is useful for any of these guys, half plate, the great sword. Are they in good nick, or are they? They're in very good condition. It's More better than you'd expect for goblinoids. Okay. So half plate looks like it's in good good metal, good condition. So I'm open to the touch at the moment. I might be able to do something with it. Sort of shimmy off the half plate to Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Stonewall. Uh, great sword? Mine. <laughs> Mine is fine. A chainmail or shield. <coughs> so we put all that back in. Keep, keep the gold, so 61 gold. 
from there and the information from there. And whilst that, these guys are off to the... Yes. Whatever it is. So you get to this chest, you say you busted open straight away. Is that right? Busted open straight away. So Jack just busts it open. He's over there straight away, opens it. So it's a large chest. It appears to be completely empty except for a vase placed in the centre of it with a lid on it. Just, <coughs> and then just put it back down again. Okay. Just confuse you for I'm just going to pick it up and just give it an inspection. Just... Okay, you set the lid off it. Okie dokie. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't that oh, stupid I'm, to do it. I'm, I'm used to uh, <laughs> finding valuable objects and places and opening them or looking at them. Have you seen that? The world collapses. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody die, 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 die. The whole building. <laughs> <laughs> no, so if it just inside. I love how it just owns its own nonchalant. Like, yeah. So I walk up to it, I'm just like, Bleh, put it back, do what, nothing with it. You got the uh, inventory. So had. there was 61 gold pieces in total. Uh, three spears, three long swords, three sets of chainmail, three shields, <coughs> the half plate is now gone to this is uh, plasterboard. You take and the, the lid off the vase. As he does so, a red mist just <laughs> bursts out and completely engulfs Khalil's body. He disappears inside the red mist. Um, you see a face roll over the surface of it as he is engulfed. Oh shit! <laughs> As that thing completely takes over his body, and at that point I will draw closer to tonight's proceedings. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be a lock in, is it? It's a lock in. Uh. Oh! <sighs> <laughs> um, so, everyone can have 406 experience points, but you can't go up a level until we resolve the situation with him. And you had experience. Uh, so you want to go to. Uh, I didn't need 80. 406. 406. 426. That's what you've got on you. <clears throat> I've already forgot the number. Doesn't look like flowers and daisies. Uh, 406. <laughs> 406. Yeah. Oh. There you go. I'm sorry to tell you, but I have uh, no healing left for you as well. I'm more worried, not about them, I'm more worried, worried about uh, Jupiter uh, out back. We oh. tied the horse out out near there as well. Poor oh. cold flower. Um, so after the next session. Ah, warlocks on the floor. It's typical, it's typical you, 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 you see a phone, you jump in it. You see a bottle, you have to open it. I think it's funny. No, no, Jack! Don't open it, don't open it. Ooh, a bath. <laughs> 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 